party party ya Party, yeah. Oh, party, 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 party, yeah. I am a big fan of Jew Jam. Spit the kill! That scared me! <laughs> oh my gosh! Grace, thank you for the gifted. To oh my god, that's to Quinn. That's like my biffle. Hi guys! Oh hey, oh hey Stumpy. Oh hey. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back. But I never left, but it feels like I left because it's been like three days. So Baby Gil! Ah! Ah! Duel! Viper! Homie! Thank you for the five gifted! Oh my god! You guys so you guys are too nice to me. I feel like I've like been away for like a week, but it's been like three days. Also, Triss, nose piercing, hello! Baby girl, that's fucking sick as fuck. I'm, 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 
<laughs> I remember. Oh my god! I kind of never want to change that bit sound because it's super funny. Thank you for the, the thousand bits, homie. You're amazing. Big Gort. We love Gort in this in this house. And thank you for the the there's a hype train going. Oh my god. You got a septum piercing? Homie! I'm too much of a pussy to get one, but like I'm really I really want one so bad. We do stand Gort. Another song wreck. Okay. Absent? Absent? Listen to 1121 by Halsey. Um, I had water today at work, so it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't need water right now, guys. It's fine. We gotta... Sarah, drink caffeine only. Ex exactly. Except, I don't know if there's caffeine in this. I actually haven't had too much caffeine today. How much did I drink? How much water did I drink? I drank... Like, like three of these guys. So how about them apples? What happens if you give that song a bad rating? I ignore it. This is the fit today. I got, it's kind of warm in my house. My dog got into my garbage can, so it's all over the floor. Sarah, water? It sounds fake, exactly. Thank you. I'm having struggles with my chair. This top is super old. It is super old. I used to buy tops like this, like the square neck, because I was told that if you have huge tits, this like proportion looks really good on you. And I used to have huge tits. So I thought I, I like, I dug it out of my closet. It's cute. I like it. Thank you very much. I'm always styling. Thank you very much. Okay. So what do you mean? Okay. I've told you 34 F honey or eight. No. Yeah. F F 34 F plus my fucked up knees. I, it's not a flex. I promise you that is anything but a flex. My back is severely damaged because of it. <laughs> exactly, reduced titties club. Also, Grace, I miss you, hi. I don't know if you, <laughs> I don't know if I trust, I'm a visual learner. I've shown the pictures. I've shown the pictures. Why do I have bruised knees? Why do you think? I'm gonna let your imagination run wild. It was from pole dancing. Does that help? I know. I hope I see you in April too. That con would be so fun, actually. <laughs> Even my titties pressed F. That's a big old ripperoni on my part. I'm gonna imagine that Sarah tripped and fell, hence the bruised knees. I have actually fallen three times today. Um, it was not carpet burn. It's actually, I swear to God, it's. It's from pole dancing. It's from pole professional Muay Thai fighter. I like that enthusiasm and I like that imagination. Take notes. It's because I drank water. It's exactly. Skating without knee pads. Did a gnarly 900 and fumbled the landing. Wow. It's almost like you like had cameras up or something. How did you know that? Homie. How'd you know that? Yeah, no, it's actually from pole dancing. When I get, you don't have cameras. I refuse to drink cow's milk. Thank you very much. It's gross and it makes my tummy hurt. I get, when I pole dance, I get bruises um, along my shin bones, starting from right here. Because when you climb on the pole, this is the part of your leg that's on it. Okay, guys. Oh, another song. That's three. Okay. Grace, Grace, you should listen to Phantom by Wavy. If I can spell, that'd be great. Uh, 
I'm thinking shin splints. Yeah, it's like kind of it's like kind of shin splints. Also, thank you guys for the level two hype train. That was so fun. I've never had that before. I think. Um, hi Jade. You did not miss anything. Actually, we've just been I've just been you know talking. Nine. 9.125? Let's go. Let's go. I got him a good one. Guys, my goal is to get Absent and Stumpy to have a 10 out of 10 song that I give them. 10 and Yang Yang are my babies. I am obsessed with 10. Obsessed with 10. I just be people talking. Fuck, okay. <sighs> this is a lot of pressure now that I've said that with the, the song wreck. Oh, two. Okay. For Stumpy, you should listen to the acoustic version of... It's called Where's My Love by <laughs> Simmel. But the acoustic version. Cyrus, if you ever find me a 10 out of 10 song that I have not already heard, I'll give five subs. That's my goal. And then Cyrus, you should listen to OMG by New Jeans. Slay, guys. I'm, uh, let me tell you about this fucking headache that I've had for two days straight. It started, it started if you were, oh my God, another song wreck. I gotta, I gotta like limit that, I think. <laughs> There's a really good acoustic of drugs from Upsol. Oh, I like that song a lot, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Jade, you should listen to Your Age by Rina Sawayama. Um, yeah, New Jeans has nothing but bangers. Thank you very much. All of them. I used to be a hater and now I consider myself a stan. But also, I... Okay, if you were here on Wednesday, raise your hand. I... Like, y'all could tell I was off, right? It felt off. I was just, I don't know what was going on. And then I went back to bed for a little bit. And, and then I, uh, ooh, more wigs, hell yeah. But then I, like, woke up with a, a headache. And then I hung out with a friend. And then um, went on a date with Squid. And then my headache got worse. And then it turned into a full-blown migraine, and I had a nine-hour shift the next day that I thought was like, okay, yeah, I'll just drink a bunch of caffeine, and it'll make me feel better. And that's, you know, that'll be good, right? It did not. It did not, and I felt really, really bad. <laughs> I felt really bad. And then, and then it happened again yesterday. It just like, it just was like continuously there. So I was dying. It's finally like kind of gone away. I used to get really bad migraines until I started microdosing edibles. Interesting. Oh, yellow tinted glasses I've heard of. I've heard of that. I have yet to actually, I actually do have a pair of yellow tinted glasses that I should like wear. They're cute. Um, the microdosing edibles thing I've also heard of. I'm tempted to try it, but I have not good experiences with edibles. I have really not good experiences with edibles. Like, <laughs> the last the last time I took an edible, this it was completely legal, by the way. Don't do illegal drugs. This is in a legal setting. I was of legal age. I was at a drag show with two of my friends. And what is this music? I'm kind of super into it, actually. Um, you take a little so it barely affects you. Okay, yeah. On a scale of one to the hat man, how paranoid did you get? So here's the thing. I wasn't paranoid. I was at a drag show and I was having a great time. I like, I was, I was dancing. I was doing my little dancey dance, doing my little thing thing. And then, um, and then all of a sudden I'm like, I'm going to throw up. And so I go to lay down and I like, I sat down and then I kind of like almost passed out and the bouncer, the song was boring. Eh, I can't help you with that. Um, so I go to, uh, the bouncer comes up to me and is like, you can't do that in here. 
Like, if, you, if, you're, if you're, you know, not feeling good, you have to go home. And so I'm like, oh, fucking, okay. Um, fine. <laughs> so I go outside, and I'm, like, crouching. I'm doing, like, the, the, like, this kind of crouch on the cement. And, and the bouncer's like, where are your friends? And I'm like, they're in there. And, and my friends come out, and they're like, no, she's okay. She's like, she just has really bad like claustrophobia and stuff and so we ordered an uber and i we somehow make it back to my friend's apartment and i walk i'm they're like carrying me up i'm yeah it's that pose they're like carrying me up the stairs to this girl's apartment we cross through the door i go first i walk into the door and immediately just <laughs> straight into the floor it was carpeted but still straight into the floor <laughs> my friend turns me over this kid, yeah I know my friend turns me over and is like honey we gotta take your makeup off like you don't want to go to sleep with your makeup off so I'm laying down she like flips me on my back I'm laying in front of the door and she comes up to me and like peels my eyelashes off my face for me and then grabs a, a makeup wipe and just does this to my face and like starts like smearing it everywhere. That's a real friend right there. They are, they are still my best friend. Like one of my best friends. I love them so much. Um, and then they carry me up this, her apartment was like a dual level. So she carries me up to the second floor of the apartment. And then, hi, hi Ari, welcome into the bone zone. Um, she carries me up to her room my other friend carries me up to her room and I do the same thing once I get upstairs and and face plant fucking just nail myself into the the mattress which is on the floor because she was like in the middle of moving and so I just lay down and then my other friends apparently I passed out I just passed out and then apparently my other friends like had a full improv play musical while I was passed out upstairs and they were still high as shit. It was so funny to me. Also guys, <laughs> hey, welcome to the bone zone. It's like been a hot minute. How are, how, like I, how are, how are y'all doing? Anyway, that's why I don't do edibles. And I took, I took like the tiniest, not even a full serving. Not even, not even, not even half of a serving. Like what was supposed to be a serving size. Couldn't do anything but stare at a wall for four hours. That's what happens when I get regular high. Next con we getting lit. Got it. Yes. Guys, you, how come we, we, we don't get lit. I want to be drunk with you guys. You guys is in my troop mates. I had to put my whole pussy into understanding what the song meant because I'm fucking stupid, but 9 out of 10, slay. Oh yeah, guys, I redyed my hair. Thank you. Tell your tell your girlfriend thank you. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I redyed my hair. I, I just put more color in it. I wanted to get rid of it. I'm really tempted to um strip the color now and and do something different. I did. Yes. I thought it looked extra shiny. It's just a little darker, right? It's also gotten really long. Really long. What colors would I go for? <laughs> My GF is mine. <laughs> Can't I have both of you? I do dye it myself. I do dye it myself. I don't know what color I would go for, but I have a lot of green dye in my bathroom that's kind of calling my name. Yeah, I want to, uh, yeah. Um, half black, half white. The, oh, I love Emma Langdon. If that's who I'm thinking it is. Yeah, I've done, I've done half white, half red. Oh, I'm going to steal both of you anyway. I also love her accent so <laughs> much. <laughs> Bean burrito, thank you for the gifted sub. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. But yeah, I have a lot of extra dye. There's a lot of green dye in my bathroom right now. There's a lot of green dye in my bathroom. Maybe some peekaboo? Ooh. 
I would do that. I have to figure out. I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I, I, I am green. <laughs> what color would you dye other people? Based on personality. Ooh, okay. 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 I like this. I like this challenge. Ready? I'm going to start with squid because that's the easiest. I would, I would give squid lilac hair. What if I pulled a, what if you pulled a 2000s emo girl hair dye? Like, you mean the, like, stripes? Black on top and green. I, but dyeing hair black is so fucking, be, change into the ordinary era. I'm going to do the, the black with the, the green streaks. Grace, if I'm dyeing your hair, we're dyeing it bright pink. She has had dark purple hair. Squid has not had lilac. I want it to be like bright, bright. You know what I mean? Yeah, the, the Changbin stripes. Absolutely. Um, that would be so fucking cool. Grace would get pink. I don't think bright would suit Squid. I completely disagree. Jade, I would give you the color of your, your user excuse me your username on the screen that i have that like that that like chartreuse kind of like muted green or it's like a blue green i'm obsessed with it and i'm picturing it on you especially yeah no yeah it'd be really pretty bean burrito you are definitely You're definitely like a platinum blonde. And Ari, I feel like you would be like like a Lino purple. You know what I mean? Or like an IN pink in the in the Maxident era. I know you'll understand that, so I can say it. Tris, forever in my mind, for some reason, your hair is bright blue. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know if you know what I look like, but me next. I think, y Cyrus, you are, you're a dark blue. Dark blue. I dye my hair that color because it's, it's so hard because my hair is curly and half blonde. Yeah, curly hair is a hell of a thing to dye. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, because you and I, are you and I would know. Should we, should I put the game on? I'm gonna like get started on that. My guess for you would be orange with blonde stripe. If you guys had to pick my hair color, if I let chat pick my hair color, what would you, what would you give me? Hmm? We're, yeah, we're gonna game. We're playing um, Scarlet Hollow, except, oh, sh <laughs> I had had to update. It's loading. I, people image of me? Yeah. Solid red with a single black stripe down the middle. Interesting. Also, uh, uh, Grace, I look forward to your message. Scarlet Hollow, we were playing Scarlet Hollow um, last time. If anybody remembers, I'm picking up where I left off. Y'all gotta keep up. Scar it's a point and click horror game. It's the one that makes. Yeah, it's like a visual novel horror, so there's a lot of reading. It gave me a migraine last time. But that's okay. Remember we were trying to get with this bitch, but then somebody died. So, we just got dropped off by the cops. To be honest, what the? To be honest, I don't know if I completely remember where we were in the game. Also, so this is a, a learning for everybody. Big smooch to you right back, honey boo boo child. Right. So we just ran from the forest of sperm monsters. This is true. This is the gay game. I shall not disappear into the abyss. Have a great night. 
This is the next installment. Whatever my name is. Apparently I have no name anymore. Should I give him- I want to say Fox Mulder. Oh yeah, she, this one's like the cryptid YouTuber. We're looking for that- the- the skunk ape. R that's what it was, right? I pee freely. That was good. That was good. You're in town for the funeral. Good. Don't you go leaving before then. I imagine we'll need to ask you a few questions about everything you've seen tonight. Stella, keep an eye on them for us. Make sure they don't get into any more trouble. I remember watching Gab Smolders play the first episode like two years ago. Yeah, this game is from 2019? I think. Look, he's just so nice to her. I s that I s yeah. No, what did he say? I pee freely. I see Wiener is a good one though too. Bye bye Gretchy. Gretchy? That's like I'm gonna start calling her Gretchy. Y'all have a lovely evening. If any bugaboos give you trouble, you know how to get in touch. Do I now? We're back in town. It's only Stella. Oh yeah, Gretchen's the dog. Okay, well. Why the hell would you ask if we could walk home? Why on earth did you want to walk home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did I? No, we have to still kind of be nice. Because I still, like, she's still pretty. Um. I'm gonna go this one. Bad experiences with cars. She's just like me for real. I don't know how to drive them. <laughs> She's just like me for real. It's not our fault we almost died. Oh! Can I side note for a second? Today I had a ditto on my mom's Spotify and it's playing right now and she's loving it. Slay! We I just recommended um, OMG by New Jeans to Cyrus and he said he loved it. Sorry if I weirded you out. Well, yeah, you kind of did, but they seem a little blasé about everything. I got hair picks from Grace. Let's take a look-see. Oh! That's kind of a sleigh. Like, if I did something like that... Don't worry, I'm not doxing myself this time. That would be really cool. I would, I, that would, I, I would have to, feel like I would have to get that done professionally. And I'm, oh, that would be so cool though. Gotta make sure you have the gay represented. You know it, baby Goyle. The hair is really fucking pretty. I found out. Can't believe they're waiting until morning. Yeah. Um, guys, I found out who my dad is in chat. I know what his username is. Blonde or black is the base. I would do blonde probably it's me no you are you're you're the dad that like tried to go get milk and then dipped get into the hair sling. <laughs> no <laughs> I'm ready for the shout out right now I am a natural I have black hair naturally I don't know if you can see we're gonna like let me just show you my roots real quick Scalp reveal. Oh. Those are, I have naturally like really dark hair. So it's really hard to go light. If I go light, I can't go back right away. Yeah, you saw it in the YouTube vid. Um, who knows what those things are doing to his body right now? That's a disgusting thought. Tiny turtle, welcome back. I didn't drop a YouTube vid. Uh, we, you missed, you missed when I exposed my old YouTube video for cringe. And they got to, y'all got to see what I looked like as a freshman in college. What's worse is I think they implied that you're a suspect. I'm a suspect. 
Well, they gotta pin it on somebody. I'm not gonna let anything bad happen to you, bro. I am sus. This is true. Yeah, she did film the whole thing, but it won't it won't hold up in court because she fucking probably got super scared. Absent, listen to the song. Uh, Nerves by DPR Ian. Somebody can type that. It won't get to that point either because we're going to do a little investigating of our own. Bro, I don't want to. If we can get clearer footage or better yet trap one of them, there's no way they can blame me. Okay, but... I heard I heard a hiss in my headphones. There's someone in town who might have useful information. Oh, we're fine. We are heading towards the MILF. That was just the vent closing. So then it couldn't have been me venting if I'm sitting right here. Her place isn't far. We should have head over now before it gets any later. Bro, I gotta check on Tabitha. <laughs> Let's keep this nightmare going. I got a, I got you left it open and it closed on its own, silly. Oopsies. I got to check on Tabitha. We haven't seen Tabitha since we got here and I want to be friends with her. Yes, I'm sure. Um, cyan resignation. No, I'm stubborn. I should really head back. We got the digits, though. That's poggers. That's... Uh, saying poggers is weird to me. I don't know why. We got the digits. That's all that matters. Yeah. We're in this together. I gotta reassure her. <laughs> Stay safe, buddy. I got buddy zoned. I just got fucking buddy zoned. Dang it. Nice tits, guys. Thank you. I missed the last time y'all played this game. In two sentences, what have I missed? Um, creepy estate and dead guy got got by some sperm monsters. And, and then I tried to get in the girl's pants before that. That's pretty much everything. You, be you begin the long hike back up to the Scarlet Estate. As far as you know, these creatures from the woods have infested these trails as well, but it's too late for you to turn around. You'll either make it back to the estate or you won't. Is call it. Hey, yo. I'm kind of really into the music. Welcome home? Am I about to get got? I'm finally back where I belong. Do I run or do I prod it? That's blood? <laughs> no, it's, it's definitely blood. Not the kind of fluids we're looking at. I like this music. I'm gonna... Who are you? I'm gonna go... We're gonna... Oh. And then he retreats. Cool. And then we're just gonna keep going. <laughs> yep. Oh. Party, party. Mo. Yeah. My love, it's me. I come bearing desserts. Let me out of the basement. Um... You can come out of the basement, yeah. Silly Goober got strawberry jelly on his shirt. Mo, thank you for the two months, homie. That's, that's so weird. Guys, two months I've been doing this. Dude disappeared as fast as my dad. Ouch. Yeah, he really just, like, disappeared into the night. I mean, technically you haven't been- That's true, I've only been doing it for a month and a half. Slay, guys. Your salvation in sight, you make a mad dash to the door. Cool. Did I break it? Oh. I'm gonna get got. She's gonna get me. You didn't pick up even when I called you back? Twitch won't approve my emote? They never approved mine either, I'm sorry. I saw horrible things tonight. No, it's definitely not none of her business. We need her on our side. Um, love those. Love those. 
love those so much. I watched a man die tonight. Should I? Or should I be like, I texted you back. My sister is upstairs yelling at my dad and I can hear it through my headphones. The miner on the road back home. It is a good ooh. -oo. I texted you back. Okay. I don't care you gave me a heart attack. <laughs> I'm just gonna like get into the, get right into it. Oh, she knows who it is? Girl, I just told you I watched a dude die and you don't care? She's just like, I'm going to bed. Stella was the girl that we were with on the mountain. The girl that we were like into. <laughs> Can you tuck me in? The temptation is so real to shitpost in this game. Oh, I don't know what to do. Do it? Okay. D no, go to sleep. That's rude. Come on, man. Tuck me in. Yeah, what a bitch. Alright, well... Stella asked you to call her. I'm going to call her. Like, she's been crying? Oh, no. We're gonna lie to her. <laughs> I died, actually. Um, with, uh, with the only dumb... Let's do the dumb options only, then. She didn't let you become the ultimate burrito. That's unfortunate. Just I'll have, I'll have to tuck myself in, unfortunately. Um, I ran into someone weird on the way back. He knew my name. We'll compare notes. May or may not have now booked- Ayo! Guys, I'm inspiring real change in people. I've gotten Grace to dye her hair. I'm gonna brag about this in the group chat. I'm a ghost. I can't pay tax anymore. You'll have to do it for me. I wonder if I could find somebody that would, like, do that. I... My dad does all my taxes. For the relative safety of this uncomfortable bed, the events of the past evening seem like something that happened to someone else. I'm safe and warm, apparently. Except that there's fucking Minecraft cave noises in my headphones and it's make it's making the house feel weird i don't like it i don't like it deep down you can't help but worry that things will only get worse it's been three and a half three plus years since the last time i died it well i love the fact that i can help you give your family an aneurysm love that okay okay new chapter guys new chapter Look at all those little eyeballs. Look at all those little eyeballs. Oh, they're gone. Okay. So, Mining Town. Let's put together the pieces of what we have so far. Mining Town. Old, decrepit house. And old, decrepit people. Sperm monsters in the forest. And possibly the skunk ape. This game is really pretty. Can we take a second to admire the, the art style of it? Because I'm kind of obsessed, actually. Somebody's crying. It's not me. That's unusual. There's blood. Literally me. We got some aminals. Are those llamas? You spelled llama wrong, and you fucking fuck, Triss. Got some good old jack-o'-lanterns. What the fuck? Al alpaca. Al that's not how you spell alpaca. It's the Kool-Aid man's sperm. I feel like his sperm, like, even though he's red, it would come out purple. Like, it'd be grateful. <laughs> is that weird? Do other people think about these things, or is it just me? I think it'd be, like, purple, like, grape flavor. Oh, that's a lot of blocks. I wrote... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yes, grape flavor. Oh, it's like right on a cliff. What the heck? What happens if the clip goes down? If the clip goes... If the, if the clip... If the cliff goes down. That's the end of episode one, guys. Why didn't I just fucking, like, go through to the end last time? What kind of stupid stuff was I on? If I'd like to continue in... Let's save. We'll overwrite this one. Save. Okay. Yes. And then return. Continue. Do we need a recap of episode one? Yes. Okay. We're going to do a quick recap of what we did. The long lost cousin. The bad news. The 26 hours of bus rides with countless... Bro, 26 hours of bus rides? Holy shit. In CD depots that felt unsafe even in the middle of the day. You wouldn't normally... What? Big Ben, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Bone Zone. We're playing Scarlet Hollow. You wouldn't normally find yourself traveling like this, but your cousin bought the tickets. The funeral of Pearl Ann Scarlet. Hello, hello, friends and fellows. Uh, welcome, welcome. Yeah, no train? What the fuck? Seems like something you couldn't... You Oh, you shouldn't ignore. Excuse me. Um... Even considering your own late mother's rocky relationship with this side of the family. Oh, I forgot that we're not supposed to like this side. Okay. Welcome to the estate. It's uh, not safe to be in here, but we're going to live in it anyway. Don't go wandering around if you value your limbs. This, ga this, this gal over here, trying to get. Um, she's a YouTuber. Fellow content creator. Uh, we go into the woods and hunt the skunk ape, except that we find this big old bitch. Graphic point and click. No, yeah, it's a point and click. It's like a story game. Like a, like a novel. Single deer with some nut sacks on its face. And then this, there's this dude. I, who's like convinced it's a mountain lion and then it turns out to be some weird sperm guys um, Gretchen is We make a sacrifice and get Gretchen instead of the other dude. This place is extremely dangerous Ah, oh, absent. Thank you for the gifted This place is extremely dangerous. No one should live near and everyone who d does dies. So anyway, <laughs> you'll be up in that room there Yeah you dive forward and scoop Gretchen. Oh, yeah, we saved the dog instead of the dude because I like animals. And then he shoots himself on accident. Or the sperm. I think the sperm get him. That would be my guess. Oh, yeah, and then there was this guy. Ghosty boy. He got shot by a penis monster. Uh, yeah, and then I just went home. I just fucking went home. Guess I'm awake now. Against my will, I open my eyes. The sun has ri risen. The birds are singing. My gaze wanders across the room to the window in the woods beyond. You wonder if the monsters are lurking there right now. Just beyond the trees, ready to pounce as soon as you leave the crumbling estate. I feel like they wouldn't come out in the daytime, though. They look too ugly to be out in daytime. You know how sometimes you, like, look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, ugh. This is not a face for sunlight. So you just don't go outside? Same. You open your eyes, you feel a thick crust that is formed over them as you pry them open. My favorite part about sometimes waking up is when you get the, the crusties and then you get to like pick them out and it feels really good. Is that weird? A familiar unease settles into your gut and a tangling form of not a tank, wait. Oh yeah, I forgot that I can't fucking read. Uh, tangling into a knot of anxiety, wriggling as the events of last night play out in your head. I feel like you shouldn't have to tell yourself, I am alive when you wake up. You know, sometimes you just have to, okay? It just happens. You can't help but remember Dukes. Oh, that Duke is the guy that got God. Uh, pieces of him- Oh! 
Oh, and my tr yeah, my traits are hot and mystic. I chose to be sexy and mysterious. You're not sure if you'll ever feel okay again after what you've seen, but you can't stay in bed forever. Cool. So I got more trauma. Nice. That's just more comedy uh, routine made stuff. I, huh. I don't know what it is about games that like I have to read a bunch, but for some reason it just makes my brain completely malfunction. Let's go check out the possum. I gotta take him out. Should I pat him? I don't wanna pat the little guy. Oh, now he's dead, okay. Uh, poker in my closet. Turn my game down. How's this? He's not dead. I'm, I, thank God that the doll didn't move. This is good? Okay, good, thank you. It's not haunted after all. Yes, it is. It just, uh, decided not to, to get up. Let's look out the window. Make sure there are no, uh, sperm guys. Okay, we're gonna text Stella. Uh, picture of a tired cat. I am tempted, so I'm gonna do it. In the meantime, let's get dressed and, like, eat some food. I wanna pet the cat! Excuse me, ma'am, but may I pet you? <laughs> she flicks her tail faster. Oh. <laughs> Did you know the police called me this morning? Well, homie, not to be like that person, but I did try to tell you that I saw a man die last night. Like, I don't, I don't know what you want me to tell you. I had a really rough night. Can you just cut me some slack? Can we hang? What's the plan for the day? Bro. The cops don't matter. Something is coming for this town. I don't want to be that guy yet, though. I had a <laughs> Trouble follows me wherever I go. This should have Mystic next to it. I don't know what to say. Listen, it's the aliens, okay? I'm not making it up. I, this sounds too condescending, but it's like the right thing. Okay, we'll ask about Duke. They had quite a few questions about you. Sarah Heartburn. That name is so dramatic. I told them that you're an upstanding citizen. For having my back, homie. What the fuck? <laughs> this is the face I make at work when my coworker tries to tell me that we're like out of something. And I'm like, are you fucking for real right now? Is it really? That's the face I make when I feel like putting my head through a wall. Um, there are monsters in the woods, homie. We need to leave. That girl spent years chasing her own shadow thinking it's Bigfoot. <laughs> My allergies this, this week have been nothing but absolute menaces to me. My nose is constantly stuffed. And I, I have the return of mucus ASMR has arrived. And my eyes are so itchy. And I hate it. This is just a sleepy mountain town. Stella thinks she saw some ghouls. Homie, no. They with the, what's up? Ooh, ooh, what's up with you and Stella, huh? Let's probe. Oh, they're lesbians. They're lesbians. Mucus ASMR is my favorite. Yeah, it's fucking drama, drama bomb. Ready? <sighs> Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> and they were roommates. We just have history. 
I'm sorry that you have history. Is there anything I can do to help? Okay. We're trying to get on her good side so she'll tell us the secrets. And let us into the abandoned, uh, or the, the not good places to, in the house. You can stay out of trouble. I want you home by sunset. I have a curfew now. I don't want to hear complaints. Just do what I ask. Don't tell me what to do. As soon as you tell me what to do, I no longer want to do it. Oh. We've got a curfew. And the front door is closed. Cool. Now I'm the only one here. And <laughs> she sent me the same cat. Just two school friends who stick together. Hope you're holding up okay or as good as you can with the stuff we saw last night. I was up most of the night on cryptid forums. Oh, okay. So she's like kind of a wacko. No real answer yet. I'm at the library now if you want to join. Oh, fuck. I do love a scone. Okay. I'll be there in a bit. Now we have time to like explore a little. She's got scones. So we don't need to make a PB&J. As your eyes wander to the garden door, you shudder. Oh, yeah, there was something. The YouTuber Gur. What? It's probably just a raccoon. You know what? I'm a curious little cat. Twitch streamers are the worst, but you know. Well, yeah. Welcome back, Stumpy. I wasn't aware that you left. Sorry. Let's investigate further. You wander farther into the garden, trying to pinpoint this. <laughs> no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't hate me. No, you don't hate me. Trying to pinpoint the spot where that thing had been lurking, if indeed there had- if you- Oh, yeah? How- how much do you hate me, Stumpy? Let's explore. Okay, there's a greenhouse. One million trillion. Nice try. That's not a real number. Uh, greenhouse sits in the midst of the overwhelming greenery, unreachable for years of- oh, unreach- from- unreachable from years of neglect. I can't read. It's glass clouded and cracked. That's a lot of zeros. I would like that to be my bank account, actually. I'm sorry that you hate me that much. Unfathomable money. Somebody won. Did y'all hear that somebody won just moved to Venezuela? Man. As long as I can have a Vuvuzela as well. Um, did y'all hear that some guy from Maine won one point something billion in the like Powerball this past weekend or something? And most strikingly, behind a pair of rusted metal gates at the very peak of a mountain sits a graveyard. Bro! There's a graveyard back here. No wonder it's creepy. Every time Stumpy hates Sarah, put one dollar in a vase and I'll do, I, you can do it. I should start a like, a jar for that kind of thing. Every time chat gets me good with a roast. Vase? Why do I say vase like what? It's vase. Do you say something stupid like vase? Ew. No! It's vase, homie. Vase, like face. Base. Like based. Vase, like based. What's wrong with you? How much time you got? It's because he's British, stupid idiot man. This is true. Also, Stump, welcome to the Bone Zone. Hi, friend. Um, British people, they just say words in French and act as if they're different. This is true. This is true. One has a C and... Don't call me a troglodyte. Let's check for hidden ground clues. Um, do you know what a troglodyte is? You crouch down, pushing aside the greenery. My IQ is 75. I say boost. <laughs> Why does the... Yeah, no, they have both are interchangeable in certain words. So, fuck off. Pushing aside the greenery to examine the soft earth. Yes, you're correct. It's a prehistoric cave dweller. 
Good job. We got a boot print and some viscera. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so we got the photo. This is the guy that followed me home. Um, let's text it. Sperm? Could be. No way, that's Tabitha size. Uh, we're gonna head to town. Bye, cat. Bye, kitty cat. The walk back to town. Oh, God. The walk back to town is less pleasant today than it was yesterday when you didn't yet know what that the words were full of monsters and strange men. You stare anxiously into the darkness. Cool. We're gonna keep walking. Very mid burgers. Yummy. I could. I had some fried rice for dinner. Only dead people footprints stay in mud. Oh yeah, it's definitely a ghost. My phone is buzzing. All the more reasons to come to the library. Look who I found. Fried rice is so fucking good. And it's from my favorite, one of my favorite restaurants. Adding you to a group text? Oh, fuck. Those are so annoying, though. I'm only here because it's quieter than the store. I'm trying to figure out what animal that could be. We know what the... the, 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 the the, the, we know what animals they are. They're ditchlings? What is a ditchling? And why are they harbingers of doom? Excuse me. Yeah, we don't know who Kanika is. Send a heart emoji? <laughs> um... On my way. I don't want to. I don't want to have. I'm. Group chats are annoying. Okay, I'm gonna perch. By the way. We're walking down the path. Yeah. How did you fuck up the word llama? We made it to town in one piece. And no scary ghost boys, ghost miners. Hey, look! It's that one guy that I complimented his scone. Okay, okay, wait a minute. Whoa. So this lady right here apparently has some kind of aura. Ditchling? More like bitchling. More like... Let me put my dingling in you. Ayo. But before you can wrap your head around this strange feeling, it fades. Ooh, this is like a... Got him, exactly. Um, a scuffed voice modulator right here. Why were you talking about me? Why were you talking about me? I'm the biggest thing that comes into town since the coal mine. Hey, yo, not to like toot my own fucking horn or anything, but. I am a little famous, apparently. Okay. They're buzzing about me. The superstar is here. I'm talking about you right now, actually. That's cr Doka, that's insane. That's crazy. Are you talking shit about me? I actually never stop talking about you. I hope... I hope you do at some point. I'm, like, not that special. <laughs> oh, this is, this is the lady. This is the lady. <laughs> My dickling in your mom's assling? Yeah, it's an illness. Please see a doctor. She barely even waved when she walked by. Should I tell her the whole truth? Would she believe me or would I just look crazy? I feel like she would believe- Like, she would believe me and then he'd be like, Uh-huh. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm traumatized and I'm not ready to talk about it. I don't think they gave me a gun. Kill them both? I would kill him. He's like, kind of, eh. I was talking shit about you, actually. I was just telling my good buddy the air since no one in my apartment. How Sarah is fun and pretty and nice and fun and pretty and nice and a good <laughs> good hang to be with <laughs> that bitch. <laughs> I like that message a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Doka. <laughs> Stubby would go see a doctor and the doctor could only diagnose Sarah. 
The doctors can't even fucking diagnose me. I can't stab them. They didn't give me a knife either. My sister is yelling at my father. I'm trying to listen in to see if I can pull some tea. Oh, she's clapping in between words, but I can't hear what the words are. I'm going to ask her why she's yelling. <laughs> she I just heard. No, she did not. Okay, we'll find out. Jess is such a Leo, what a slay. <laughs> Don't tell her you said that. Her ego is too big. I'm going to tell Avery the whole truth. Yeah, 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 Duke is dead. Has anyone told Bo? Who is Bo? <laughs> He's taking it as well as you can imagine. The poor lad, Bo Burnham. Did you guys see the picture of Bo Burnham and Phoebe Bridgers together at the airport? Now that is some tea. Toka is such a handsome man with a big peen. Yeah, my sister definitely said that to my dad. For sure that's what she said. She used my full legal name. I'm in trouble. Oh, Avery's on break for the next half hour. We're gonna go to the diner. Okay. I can't tell if she's crying or not. No, she's not. Okay. Thought the character was you. <laughs> thought the character were using your full. It's the full legal name that I gave the character. They're a terrible omen. Oh, she's the one that told us what they were. I'm afraid it's not very much. How do you know all this? Yeah, lady, I'm, I'm, this is sus. Jess definitely writes Sarah fanfics with Papa Sweetie. No, no. Papa Sweetie does not know what fanfiction really is. However, Mama Sweetie does. I'm giggling at the image of Doka, <laughs> like, laying on his stomach on his bed with his laptop in front of him, <laughs> kicking his feet <laughs> and giggling. <laughs> is your is your sister saying your full name of the game? I'm getting- No, I also don't know what's happening, homie. Bro's twirling his hair, for real. When you get to be as old as I am- Well, how old are you, lady? I'm almost 24. That's pretty old. I didn't think I'd make it this far. <laughs> Not everything is recorded in writing. I'm 900? Oh, she's 900. There aren't that many people who have seen a ditchling and lived to tell about it. <laughs> or so they say. Okay. We should... Let's inquire about... The thing. The, the, the thing that's like fucking with us Oh, cool So we met Wayne Except that he's harmless and just like really sick <laughs> No offense I'm gonna just What do you mean? I didn't say anything How? Uh, okay, well, bye Sybil I pull out the Uno reverse card. You probably have a bit of time before you're needed at the library. Um, let's go to the general store. Just because we haven't been there yet. 
<laughs> Can you imagine you walk in, you're sitting at a in a general store right here, like this man, this gentleman right here, in this fire as fuck fit. Um and you walk in and you go, you should leave town. There's monsters. Uh What you doing on your f I'm done here. No, I can explore. He's Miles. Cool. I'm gonna just be weird. You've been talking to my mom. Too. Miles like Spider-Man? It's- this is like if- if, uh, Miles Morales grew out his hair and like pretended not to care about anything. I've been talking to my mom too much. Maybe a little. Okay, well, what you doing there? Hey, yo, he plays a Dragon Ball game? Anime nerd. Weeb. Oh, you could see it on his pants, too. Okay. Well, see ya, Miles. Stella was actually canon Spider-Man. This... Ooh, okay. Bro looking like Kilometers Morales. <laughs> Well, that was, uh, productive. Let's just go to the library. I don't want to talk to Avery. You enter the former town hall. Whoa. This- Hey, look, there's the dog! What the dog doing? Yeah, I made it. Okay, we're just gonna go over there. Dog! Dog, dog! I- Look at- <laughs> Look at his fucking little face! Oh! Uh. <laughs> Absent! Thank you for the gift to stop! Oh my god! And a dress! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you so much! What the pet doing? Thank you very much for the, the gifted subs, homie. You're a slay. Stella didn't mention how cute you were. Cool. So that's hot. She got titties. We're flirting. The dog knows something for sure. That dog has seen some shit. You can see it in how big the highlights in his eyes are. I mean, hey, it's nice to meet you in person. What are they yelling about? I think there are 10 year olds at my house right now. Yup. Hey guys, my cousins are here and they're upstairs. There are 10 year olds. They are fucking weird. I look tired. Homie, that's not what you say. You mean the cataracts from him being 17? No, I mean, <laughs> I mean, look at them. He has seen some shit. The dog is trying to be respectful and not look at the boobs. Unlike me, who is failing magnificently at looking at her tits. <laughs> Say no to the children. I can. They know not to come. Is it those cousins? Yes, it's those cousins. Pugs are ugly. Yes. Yes, they are. Did you just call me cute? We were flirting earlier, though. Can you imagine if I just started flirting with her instead? We're, we've moved on. We've moved on. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty eager to crack into these books. I'm pretty eager to crack into your shirt, homie. Oh, yeah. I forgot about the... 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 the, the um, boot print. I don't know how to speak. Those boots are too big to be Tabitha's. I can't say I'm thrilled at the, st the thought of somebody watching my room. I mean... There's a corner of the internet that likes that. We're gonna call it some creep. This is 2023. We can have an open relationship. Exactly. I can have both of them if I want. Some creep, yeah. Hey, yo. So they know who Wayne is. Let us know if you need somewhere else to stay. You know what? 
baby girl. Shoddy. I wonder if there's any connection. I'm really into the soundtrack to this game. I don't have anything specific, but we do have the whole prophecy of impending doom angle to explore. This is true. I can't stop thinking about those splatters on the ground. It's, it's the professor and literal stranger. We will be strangers for long. I just can't help but flirt with everybody. His name is Oscar. He looks like if Oscar Isaac had a full beard. You look tired, rude, faux pas, bad thing to say. You look like you would enjoy a nice nap. Why don't you join me on the couch and I'll scratch your head while you pass into a pleasant dream. Rizzard, romantic, 10 out of weight. Yes. This is true. Although, personally, I like my back scratched more than I like my head scratched. My grandma used to scratch my back to put me to sleep. I refuse to flirt. None of y'all can get me on if I'm breakable. I'm gonna just try and hard. That's a challenge, homie. You've issued a challenge. <laughs> Sarah likes being scratched. I like being scratched with fake nails and real nails. It, I don't discriminate, homie. Grace? Grace, will you scratch my back when I see you next? <laughs> I look like Vivian? Who's Vivian? I, it's not that I don't like when people touch my head. I actually very much like my head being scratched. However, I just like my back scratched more. That's what you call W Riz, ladies and gents. I was still a little kid when she left. The Scarlet Resemblance. Hey yo. Hey yo. Okay, this is expository that I'm like sort of interested in, in but like not, not all, not get it, not interested, but like kind of. I don't want to be a helicopter dad, but she hasn't been answering my texts. Cool. The crowd that she hangs around with? Are they degenerates? Can you help me find heels for dancing? Yes, I can! I already have like three pairs in mind for you. I went up there plenty of times in my day. Cool. Huh? Huh? Are you guys making emotes? <laughs> I went up there plenty of times in my day. I'll be sure to keep my eyes peeled. I don't know what the Maxwell place is. Homie! My god. I can't believe I used to be so reckless. The floors were like Swiss cheese. Unironically, I enjoy eating Swiss cheese by itself. What's going on? I have no fucking idea, Cyrus. I don't know what's going on. Threats, apparently. I really should have a talk with Rosalina. Rosalina? I don't like the thought of teens getting up to mis mischief with all those ditchlings in the woods. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. Who we threatening? Uh, hypothetically, no one. Say nothing and let the others talk. <laughs> no, no what? Yeah, nobody is about to be decked. I gotta keep perching. I gotta perch again. Okay. There's some weird stuff going on in the woods. Is this game? I'm, I'm, I'm. Okay, so she's gonna talk about the ditchlings and then make us all look like wackos. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of fucking commands, bro? People fucking in the woods left and right? All these dang teenagers making out. Look at her little drawing! Look at this. This is me when I have to get up for a, an opening shift. 
with the question marks and everything when I have to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning to open a damn coffee shop? Where would you start looking if you were trying to predict a horrible disaster? He's so confused. This dog is just staring at me. No, homie. You Imagine opening a bar at 10 a.m. I used to open... Just burn the coffee shop down then? No, I like put too much work into it. I used to work at a bar that would open at 11 a.m. And people would come in and like drink all fucking day. Technically, it was a brewery, but I had regulars that like I would open the bar and they'd be there at 11 a.m. And sit at the bar and they wouldn't go for like beer. They would go for like like vodka soda at 11 a.m. on a fucking Tuesday. And I would be like, Jim, please. But they tipped really well, so I always gave them a lot. The restaurant bar I met opened at 11. It's different when it's a restaurant too, though, also. I don't yet. I don't know yet. I'll be right back. Okay, cool. You've started a bender at 11 a.m., Bean Burrito? Gretchen. Gretchen. I hated having to prepare Bloody Mary. Bloody Marys are the worst. They are disgusting. And I stand by that statement. There is nothing good about it. Imagine your bar opens at 11 a.m. and people are still waiting outside. It happened. It happened. Bloody Marys are fucking nasty. I would work. I would be opening and I would have to like keep all the doors locked so that people wouldn't just come in and sit down. And I'd be, have to be like, hey guys, it's my dad. Hey dad. Bloody Marys are gross. Especially at 11 a.m. He's the only one that likes Bloody Marys. Micheladas are okay. I don't like tomato juice, though. If I'm drinking in the morning, I'm either shotgunning a beer or having an Irish coffee. I don't really drink in the morning. Yeah, Dad, what were you guys talking about upstairs? Because I can hear it. You're a good... Gretchen is a good dog. Good for a hangover? I don't get hangovers until, like, late afternoon. Look at this fucking dog! <laughs> Music is loud? Okay, wait, I think I have to turn it down on here. That should be... That should be good. My aunt and twins are here. Oh! Yeah, guys, go follow my dad. Actually, I don't... I, he's not gonna stream. I was waiting for this moment. <laughs> Can we get some gorts in chat for my dad? Gretchen inhales the soft biscuit. Yeah. I don't know if you, Dad, I don't know if you can see the gorts, but they're there. I'm pretty sure Stella's barking up the wrong tree. Did we get the Nightbot gort slay? He's not gonna... That's okay. That's okay. Anyway. I think he's stopped watching. Okay, so apparently they weren't fighting. There was just 10 year olds in my house. Double dumb court. <laughs> I love when my parents come into chat and have no idea what's happening. It's one of my favorite things. Dad, if you want the, um, the emote to show up, you have to type, it has to be capital G. Did Jess win the fight? Apparently it wasn't a fight, unless the fight was between my sister and two 10 year olds. What do you mean, fuck off? I didn't do anything. I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm telling you what I find amusing. There's definitely something usual. Did Jess... Yeah, we, we need to know if Jess won against J and E. No, they... they no fight and they all left. Oh. Well, that's less... Interesting. I like to think that my sister lost to two 10-year-olds in a physical fight so that's the story that i'm gonna go with hey guys my sister tried to fight my two 10 year old cousins like in a physical fight and she lost and apparently that's what all the yelling was upstairs so 
L Jessica. They Fortnite danced over her. Do you guys know the um, Rip Grandma Fortnite dance? That is my one of my favorite videos on the internet of all time. <laughs> this is exactly what they did over my sister while she's on the floor. <laughs> Rip Jess. Rip Jessica, you're not dead yet. Things can still hurt you. I can't, I'm in my chair. I need more space to dance. When I move, which is probably gonna be around April, I'm gonna set it up so that I have so much space for activities. Get ready for some fucking Just Dance streams, guys. <laughs> Jessica, did you lose the fight against J and E? You lost to two 10 year olds, yeah. We all know. We all know what happened. There's definitely something unusual going on in these woods. I forgot we were playing a game. Um, I'm not gonna say that because that's weird and creepy. Hi, mom! The whole family is here! Dang, guys! Say hello to the sweetie family. We're talking about how I could hear all of you upstairs and it sounded like you were losing to uh, Jack and L in a physical fight. Um, yeah. Let's be a little creepy. The Sweeties family meets the boners. From now on, they are known as the Sweeties. I love that so much. I won, thank you very much. It's okay, Jessica. We all know that you lost. <laughs> Absent! Thank you for giving my mom a sub. That was really nice of you. I'm gonna, like, make you a drawing for all the subs that you've gifted. We'll make sure to keep your our eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna go downstairs and kill you. You can come downstairs, but you better not. You better not kill me. Are you going to say hi to chat before you leave? Jessica's going back to school tomorrow, and she'll be gone for like five months. If I see a 13-year-old girl with a black braid and glasses... <laughs> homie! Thank you for gifting my sister a sub. I ran out of music. It ran out of music because I was sitting here for too long. Oops. Okay, she's back. Now... <laughs> ghost tracks <laughs> you can't even win against two 10 year olds how do you expect to win against a 40 year old Sarah how old do you think I am yeah you can come downstairs and say bye to chat um Tris how fucking old do you think I am Sarah is at least 60 voice only okay 69 is a based answer. I, guys, really, how old do you think? My birthday is next month. How old do you think I'm turning? Let's get a research party started. 40? Why? Um, that makes her older than me. Yeah. 22, 23, 25, 23. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Okay, you think I'm turning 23. This is the the gag is I'm already turning I'm already 23 and I'm turning 24. Okay. Hello. Here, speak into the mic. Um chat, you're awesome. Uh keep giving my sister money. You ha <laughs> You haven't quite earned the sister reveal yet. But, uh... My streamer is so old, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, she's an old bat. She's an old... Sh yeah, she's old. You're old. <laughs> <laughs> For context, chat, I am less than three years younger than her. But she's old. Don't tell me what to do, chat. <laughs> Jessica is in the room, don't worry, you will. Is Jessica in the room with us now? <laughs> Can you tell me, is this sister in the room with us right now? <laughs> anyway, it's been fun. I'll be in chat while I'm, I'm at school. Um, perhaps if if you do well enough for my sister, you will earn a sister reveal. All right. Did I get a sister reveal last night? No, Mo. 
No, I was uh hanging out Let's watching it. They said good luck with school. Okay, she's gone. I'll never see her again. Rip. Rip grandma. Anyway. I was not at... No, I was not with my sister last night, Mo. It was a puppy. Yeah, I turned 24 in February. Good night, mother. Can we get some gorts for my mom and everybody say good night? I'm just obsessed with Gord, honest to god. Should I flip through... Let's flip through... <laughs> Reading is for suckers. Let, can <laughs> Let them do the work. <laughs> my birthday is not February 8th. That's Mika's birthday. Guys, my mom's using emotes now. Aww. She's learning. I love that. Slay, mom. Slay. <sniffs> She'll evolve one day into being able to roast me in chat. You're too hot to read. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Sila. Welcome back. It, it's specific. It's Mika's birthday. February 8th is Mika's birthday, isn't it? Mika Miba? Let's get it. I love Mika Miba. Sarah mom put the uwu. Ooh, I think she already left. But next time we'll get mom to use the uwu. We'll get uh, mama sweetie. <laughs> it's not. It's not Mika's birthday right now. Um, I want to read about the enigmatic cave dwelling creatures, primarily known for causing mischief. It's me, actually. Yeah, 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 they're Cornish, they're, it's, uh, it's good stuff. The creatures take stolen hammers to the support of mines and collapse them. Cool. Nice. Happy birthday, Mika. <laughs> Poor Mika. She's on vacation right now. They're on vacation right now. They are traditionally thought to be impish leprechaun-like beings. Okay, we'll explore the wamp kiss, the wampus cat. A birthday vacation. Not yet. I'm taking one, though, next weekend. Next weekend. Guys, I'm going on vacation next weekend. Okay, it's of Cherokee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is all information. This is all information. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Big Wampus Cat. Her calls are of great sadness. She's just like me for real. Let's look at the third one. Um, it's a story. Let me read you a bedtime story. There was a hunter who lived in a tiny cabin in the middle of the woods, all alone with his hunting dog. One night, after a particularly bad week of hunting, both their stomachs empty, the hunter spied something out of the corner of his eye. Some small creature had gotten into the cabin through a hole, and before he could even figure out what it was, he'd drawn his gun and fired at the thing. His hunger guiding his actions. Oh shit. Look at that thing. Happy board day, Mika. Why do we need these commands? I mean, I kind of like them though. But it was quick and ran back through its hidey hole and out of sight, leaving only its long black tail... So we shot the tail off and it's going to grow another thing. The chicken butt one is my favorite still. Um, tail soup. Yum. Sounds good. Would you guys eat this kind of stew? I would try it. Guess they'll have to do, he said to his dog. And threw the tail in a pot to cook soup. They're useful like one time a year technically, but still. Yeah, no, it's fun. It's all in good fun. Let Stump back in- What the f- <laughs> He and his dog ate well that night. The ta- They ate the tail! They ate the tail! She punched me? Uh, all of- Listen, we don't take HR complaints about Stumpy anymore. It's just a- It's too much of a hassle. Try everything at least once. That's what I say. I'm down. It, yeah, it's unfortunate, but uh, HR just refuses to deal with him. 
Except tax evasion. I would... No, I wouldn't try tax evasion. Maybe I would. Maybe I have unintentionally, though. Mod brutality? Let's not have mod brutality. In my chat, thank you very much. Stumpy is a natural disaster. Nothing we can do to stop. Exactly. Exactly. He woke up to the sound of long nails scrabbling across wood. His dog was nowhere. I forgot we were reading outside of chat. Is okay? Yeah. This is true. Um, I forgot we were reading a little story here. His dog was nowhere in sight. Only a rumpled spot on... <gasps> Did it fucking eat the dog? It ate the dog. It ate the dog. No, I don't like this anymore. I don't I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. It ate the dog. Uh, why is he saying Taily Po? You ate a dog, homie. Oh, should have eaten that ugly ass pug. I will protect that pug with my entire being. Thank you very much. If I eat a dog, I don't eat it. Because I did. No, I didn't. Before the hunter could so much as scream, the creature leapt from the darkness. Ooh. Cool. Not sure what... The pug can't die. It knows God personally. Plot twist. The pug is God. Did anybody watch Drag Race last night? Watch RuPaul's Drag Race and see... Um, what's her face's rendition of Dolly Parton? It was otherworldly. The pug has God in a chokehold. That's why it won't fucking die. <laughs> I love drag racing. I don't know if you were talking about the same drag racing. Okay, I'm done here. We're just gonna explore all the books and go through all the info. Cool. It's where a bunch of gays run really fast, right? Essentially, yes. That is the literal transit translation of RuPaul's Drag Race. Also, more anime references. This is that fucking thing from Madoka Magica, if I'm in if I'm not wrong. We got a bunch of weebs in the household. The Gay Olympics! RuPaul's Drag Race is and will forever be known to me as the Gay Olympics, because that's exactly what it is. It's like an inside job where they all have to kill an innocent basketball dog to save the timeline. What? It did not get canceled. Oh, wait, are you talking about are you talking about like Twitter canceled? Or are you talking about like? Like, production-wise, it got cancelled. Because that show has, like, six reboots and, like, four spin-offs. Oh! Black cat! Oh, he's handsome. He's a handsome cat. Pixel? Production-wise? No, it's still very much alive. It's, it's, uh... Oh, Inside Job. I don't know about that show. I don't know anything about that show. The only show I know about is RuPaul's Drag Race. Start your engines. <laughs> you might want to close your book. He loves to rip up any paper. Cool. Inside Job is the animated show. Oh, I think I did see that that got canceled. If it's on Netflix, I just immediately assume it got, it'll get canceled. Pixel immediately goes to town on Stella's treats. Hey, yo. I would love cats. Why do you let a paper shredder freely wander a library? No, we're not going to be mean because we like Pixel. The animals are the best part of this game so far. Um, The reason that everything that you like is canceled is because the whole world is out to get you, actually. I better be back to shelving. Better get back to shelving. I actually had decent writing. I, yeah... I Netflix just, um, if it's, it's Netflix, I think, but if it doesn't immediately make Netflix a million dollars in revenue, they cancel it. Better get back to shelving. Cool. What were you saying about nuclear incidents now? 
they were like, wow, what a good show. Oh, wait, Triss likes it? Never mind. Can't fucking stand that bitch. Apparently in the 60s, a B-52. Oh man, I love that band. Carrying a live warhead, broke up midair and dropped a couple of bombs. I did see that Wednesday is getting a season two. My dad is currently in the middle of watching that show. Bit of history there. First of the two bombs landed upright after its parachute got caught in a tree and didn't go off. I have still yet to see Wednesday. The only thing I know is that the girl that plays Enid, who I think is like the little blonde chick, is a 17 stan, which means she likes K-pop. So that's a fucking dub. The world is actually really trying to make me watch Austin Powers. Triss! Watch Austin Powers. I swear to God, you better. She looks like a K-pop fan! <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? But I have school soon? I don't fucking care. Watch them. What, what does it mean to look like a K-pop stan? I get how I could look like a K-pop stan, but how does she look like one? The government claimed that the pump was unarmed. Oh, shit. Ah, that was a long yawn. If I remember correctly, they just buried it and sealed it up. You aren't telling me what you think, like, what does it mean to look like a K-pop stan? Disarming nuclear bombs is definitely not part of their skill set. I don't know about mine because I'm hot and sexy. So it might be a part of mine. Um, she has that cheery and colorful style that K-pop fans have. Have you, have you heard about the emo to K-pop pipeline? Is that something that you're familiar with? Because if not, let me introduce you to the emo to K-pop pipeline in which the former emo kids that all listen to like heavy metal and and pop punk and regular punk have now transitioned into being like fucking twice stands. Does it start with Big Bang? Usually yes. Okay, so the nuke made the ditchlings. Case closed, cool. That's not what I said. You never know with radiation. I actually do though. It just melts you? No, it mutates you. A 60-year-old bomb isn't going to explode on its own hundreds of miles away and kill us here. You never fucking know. You never know. Oh, they're suitcases. <laughs> they're suitcases. I've watched Master in Disguise is... Isn't it part of the Austin Powers Cinematic Universe? No, the Austin Powers Cinematic Universe is purely the three Austin Powers movies. That is, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery, Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, and Austin Powers and Gold Member. That's all you need to worry about is those three movies. Fuck, I went to Squid's house the other day and forgot my Austin Powers costume. Do you think there's a cult here? Let's talk about the folk monsters. I'm so mad at myself. Yes, there's three movies, but they're all like an hour and a half. You can get them. You can get you can get them knocked out in like six hours. I suspect Mike Myers Netflix show might also be in that universe. I didn't know the man had a Netflix show. Do it for the memes. Do it for the bit, homie. If you ever have to convince yourself to do something, just say that you're doing it for the bit. There's something seriously wrong with that guy and we should definitely look into it, but I don't think he's a ghost. I think he's a ghost. You've seen him touch stuff? Whoa, homie. What kind of stuff are we talking about? Okay, let's talk about the Wampus Cats. I'll be able to watch stream for a couple of hours. But you can't take an hour and a half of your time to watch the first Austin Powers movie. Tisk tisk. What do you mean there's no mountain lions? Found the name. It's the 
pent it's the pentaverd penta verit pentaverit the pentaverit i can say it i don't know what i my brain do you guys ever look at a word and think that it's not real Because I think that's just what happened to my brain. Sometimes I look over at chat and I forget that I'm supposed to be playing this game. I tried the I tried to watch it, but it felt like one huge fever dream. I love those kinds of things. <laughs> Me when I read Llama. True. The one I watched, okay, you know what? I'm really sad that got canceled on Netflix. Was um Oh, fuck. Midnight Gospel. Midnight Gospel. I love that show so much. I'm so sad that it got canceled. Bro, the first episode hooked me in so hard. I've rewatched it like seven different times. And I cry every single time at the... At the... Um... The last episode. I'm... I'm like 80... 89% positive that Midnight Gospel is cancelled and is not getting a season 2. At least not from Netflix. You'll eat those words. Okay? Yeah. Which makes me really sad because it was so good. I'm gonna cry, piss my pants, maybe shit and come. <laughs> no. I saw raccoons. I, know, I listened to his actual podcast and you find out the main guy is too much a follower of spiritualism and doesn't make his own opinions. That's really unfortunate. However, I liked the aspect of the animation mostly. I like the, the, the animation and I like the fact that it was um, the creator of Adventure Time was in on it. I've never listened to his actual podcasts though. What can I say? I like to live on the edge. No, you fucking don't. Don't ever say that to me again. Let's just move on. I want to see if there's a cult. And if not, I want to start one. Do you guys think I'd be a good cult leader? Because I think I'd make an excellent cult leader, in fact. The cops were awfully suspicious. Actual nudists? Is there an option to kill the pug? Not yet, but I feel like there there will be. Um, I don't want to insult them. I would sacrifice myself for you. Don't tell me that. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna like nut. <laughs> what would the cult beliefs be? That I am the overlord. I don't know that like. Um, our cult would be, well, my cult would be probably BTS related in some way, shape, or form. Do we all have to listen to K-pop too? That's what I just said. Maybe they were, like, summoned. Seems unlikely. Don't you dare. Stella's like, oh, I put margarine on my toast. I'm so quirky. Bro, Stella seems like the kind of person... Who like cut herself bangs, like really thick Zoe De Chanel bangs, and took New Girl to heart, and like really, really became the the quirky girl. I will not be joining a cult if it means listening to K-pop. Dying for you is where I draw the line. Got it. So if I lure you in, decide that my cult has nothing to do with K-pop. I'm I'm getting you in purely based on me would you join it then we have eternal life with k-pop here's the thing here's the thing she liked markiplier and jacksepticeye because she's not like the other girls exactly but she couldn't name a single video that they've ever done meanwhile i'm a super fan just kidding i thought when people were saying Stella, they were saying Stella. <laughs> no, honey. We're talking about this bitch on screen. The ultimate pick-me who I was trying to get in her pants. 
But I'm rethinking my decision now that Kanika's on screen. Because she just seems odd. And she's, like, actually kind of smart. She could name Meow only. Oh, yeah. Meow. I wish I had that deeper voice. I'm, I can go pretty deep. Like, my voice is, like, alto 2 to, like, tenor 1. Sarah saw the booby and that was that. Exactly. I mean... Listen shoddy I knew a teen would be a handful but I didn't think it happened overnight I'm actually this might surprise you all I'm actually more of an ass person myself okay this is getting let's just don't say that it's personality you liar it's thighs actually thighs are the correct answer you're an asshole person, that's for sure. Hey, yo, joke's on you. My mom already tells me that I have assholeitis every single day. You can't fucking get to me, bro. It's hereditary. Midriff is literally the best. I think they make a cream for that. No, 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 no. Assholeitis, as in like. Is this enough midriff for you? Wait, wait, wait. Let me pull up the Calvins. Okay. There's your simp moment. Um, anyway. If it's itis, it medically means it's inflamed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna tell my mom because she was the one that came up with the uh, the disease. Yeah, she just thinks that I'm an asshole and I get it from my dad. Which, like, let's be real. She's not wrong. I'm also wearing Calvin Klein's. That's cool. Somebody gave these to me. My mom created this. Yes. My mother. My mother. Obsessive crocheter. Uh, Mama Sweetie. Created a disease called assholeitis. It's me. I'm the disease. I will change it. I just keep forgetting. I'm sorry. <sighs> the ditchlings are a potential disaster. Cool. I'm a little confused. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting I'm trying to play this game. I'm gonna message you every hour until you fix it. I'm gonna fit it. I'll fix it right after stream, okay? I pinky promise. This game. Scarlet Hollow. Okay, okay. Hi, it's me. I'm Sarah, the disease. Yeah. I hate to give Tabitha any credit, but the mine is safer now. Oh, okay. You never know. We're not going to prom. I'm not going to prom. Good try, though. It's not happening ever. Who is Charles Shaw, and why do we have a bone to pick with him? Also, what bone can it be? Because if I have to pick a bone, I'd like it to be his femur. That's what happens when someone directly causes a monumental disaster. People tend to spit when they hear your name. Hey, yo. I want people to spit when they hear my name. Spit bars. They actually tied you to a rail and you ran out of town? That's fucking wild. Okay, let's just agree with Stella. Never mind. We shouldn't agree with Stella. Can't wait for the first YouTube video called So I Went Back to Prom. Absolutely not. It's never happening. I told you. I didn't have a good time at my regular prom. Why would I want to go back? Let's just... Go look for Rosalina. 
to relive it? Absolutely fucking not. That would be some fire content? No. No. Please, God, no. We can poke around. When are we doing our collab? Good question. I have no idea. You'll, you'll teach me how to play Binding of Isaac, though. That's for sure. 100% I would never. We don't even have good reason to go down there. I'm confused on where we are in the game, but I think that's just because I skipped a whole bunch of uh, expository uh, stuff that I probably shouldn't have skipped. We're at the end? No, I, it's like there's like six episodes in this game, I think. The Binding of Isaac, homie. The game. Um, sure. I get it, I'm the hot one and you're the planners. We all have our roles to play here. Hey, yo? I'm sure Tabitha's gonna love that we're snooping around. Maybe she can help us out though. I don't think she'd be super jazzed to see any of us snooping around the mines. Snark is that girl's baseline level of existence. Same. Wait, does Tabitha work in the mine? There's four episodes of this. Okay, okay. It's not under the best circumstances, but I've been so wrapped up in running the story I didn't realize how much I missed being able to hang out with you. Who is Reese? Oh, Tabitha owns the mines? When did we get that piece of information? We could just pop over and surprise Reese. Yeah, he seemed excited to meet me. I'm because I'm a fucking celebrity. <coughs> I'm so cool <coughs> and choking on my own spit. Maybe we'll finally get him to leave his little cave. Ha ha ha! Let's roll out. Did she really say that? Okay, sarcastic stump. The dog is off the screen. That's a really nice looking house, actually. It's got a cuter face now. She's still sleeping? She looks like a bitch. I'm kind of really into it though. Dr. Kelly? Hey, yo. Okay, okay, so Reese is sick. That's the doctor. I like her face. Mommy vibes for sure. Like she would punish me if I was being mean, but in like a, she, she would do it in like a, like a, she'd look at you and go, hey, quit that shit. You know what I mean? Um, I'm Vivian's kid. Oh, okay, never mind. She knows who I am. Whoops. Sorry. Stella's entire personality is that she's hunting ghosts and a YouTuber. Yes. It's kind of annoying. I can see why people don't enjoy the presence of content creators. <laughs> she is kind of on my nerves now. The way she avoids looking at you when she speaks makes you feel like you've done something wrong. Yep. Oh, oh. Oh, she got an ass, though. I know that was a little rude. You just want to hang out with Reese, and he misses both of you, too. What's Reese got? What, what is he super sick with? Streamers are the worst. 
a good thing I don't tell anybody that I'm a streamer. Why don't you come over tomorrow? Okay. Guess I'm going over. Oh, I suppose that I'm allowed to. Ginger ale? Ginger ale's based. No Gretchen. Got it. You're a streamer? Oh, I think I'm gonna go. Oops. Sorry. That's okay. We'll stop bothering you now. Yeah. Okay, so she's got, like... She built this house herself, for sure. She makes me nervous, too. I'm way worse than stream... Chat? <laughs> What's worse, the chat or the streamer? I remember she used to be so nice and carefree when we were kids. Yeah, now her son seems like she's got, like, real bad sickness. What is wrong with Reese? Okay, so she's got a car. <laughs> You're well- I hate that they keep using my fucking full legal name. Please stop using my full legal name. Just call me... Daddy. I am, in fact, sick of the woods and would like to hang out with Kanika. We're getting in the mystery machine. Her side profile is so pretty! She's a careful driver. Thank you for indulging us on that little diversion. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. So you think I'm cute? What's going on with Reese? That's rough, buddy. Um, can you please drive me out of town, like, right now? I really just want to leave. Please call me Arthur the Midwest from St. Mountain of the Northwest Johnson. Yeah, her edges are so pretty. I like the way that they drew her a lot. Um, I'm going to keep calling you Triss. Cool. Glad we're in agreement. Does still have a thing with cars? Yeah. Oh, yeah! Dead Parents Club. Dead Parents Club. Oh, dang. Okay. So we've got the tragic backstory. I don't think she's ever going to actually leave this town. <laughs> Has she, like, seen someone? I was just looking for a shorter name. I got you covered, homie. I'm good at nicknames. I don't think that's something Stella'd go for anyway. You, some, listen, buddy. Therapy is for everyone. Should I just keep silent? Or should I tell her to take me out? I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask her to take me out of town. No way I'm crossing Tabitha. What has she ever done to you? They're done for you. She doesn't see people, she doesn't have guests. Apparently I mean something to her. Therapy's for nerds? Call me a fucking nerd, bro, cause I go to therapy weekly. Listen, buddy, I got issues, okay? And they need solving. Therapy is great, yeah. No, therapy is truly, everybody should go to therapy. <laughs> but especially men. And I stand by that statement. If she found out I was the one who drove you out of town. Penny. Hi, Penny. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Bone Zone. I got gifted a sub here. Yeah, I'm. it might have been absent, honestly. Welcome to the Bone Zone, Penny. We're playing Scarlet Hollow. Um, there's no telling what might happen. Got it. Cool. But um, apparently I can't leave because my cousin. My cousin, you know? Are you guys close with your cousins? Because I I like to think I am. 
I don't think there's a lot to worry about me. Oh, it was Viper! Slay Viper. The Ditchlings are just some weird animal. No, it's their sperm monsters. For sure, it's like semen boys. If we just stay out of the woods, I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay, so you think I'm cute. Sometimes I just get a little flustered around new people. My cousins are like 30. One of my oldest cousin is 26 and then it's me and then uh, my cousin I have a cousin that's the same age as me What about therapy? Everybody should go to therapy um, And then I have two cousins that are recently 18 and then I have two cousins that are 10 years old Hi Milky I love you and I miss you too honey How are you doing child? How are you, how are you doing honey bunches of oats? My cousin's daughter is two years older than me. I don't know how to do math in my head, but that seems like it shouldn't be real. Especially if those people are cute. Oh, hey, yo, I think you're cute too. Okay, but stress, that's, yeah, I feel that. Wait, no younger? <laughs> Make up your mind, homie. Two years younger, okay. I guess that means we should hang out together. I have ADHD too, okay? Bro. But like, older versus younger? I feel like that one is... I'll let it slide, okay. Like a date or something? Like a, like a date or something. Or not, you know, whatever. She's getting flustered, we're making her flustered. We're making her flustered. No, I don't want to remain silent. I want to go out with her. Where's the riz option? Where's the option to riz her up? I have to do work for college. Love you, honey. Have a good night. Do you have any other theories? Okay. Well. Hairless monkey raccoons. I don't think we're anywhere near those. I totally buy that. Oh. <laughs> Absent. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. Again, the gifted sub. What if they're aliens? I definitely owe you like a little dancey dance or something. That's hilarious. <laughs> Absolutely not. What do you mean they're not? A they're not. They're not aliens. That's like the most. That's like the most plausible answer I can think of right now. To be honest, hairless bipedal situation. This is true. Humans and other apes are super unique. This is also true. This is. This is actually incredibly true and it's one of the things that they that they uh teach you in anthropology like one of the first things i personally i think it's dancy ey also what do you mean aliens aren't real that's the dumbest thing i've ever heard aliens alien life it is so stupid to, let me just go on my rant here real quick it is so stupid to think that um we are the only living beings in this entire fucking universe not to mention the multiverse theory life isn't real how about listen bud <laughs> i'm in a fragile state you could probably gaslight me into thinking a lot of things she's a milf this lady i don't think she's a mom but she is based as fuck because this is also probably true M as in Mancy, and W as in Wumbo. And the likelihood that they make it to space, let alone to another inhabited planet. Here I go getting worked up about aliens. She's just like me for real. I have a lot to say. I, have a, I also have a lot of opinions about aliens, girl. We're just the same person. I thought you said weast. This game is such a good rant generator. I'm also just really good at ranting. I have the uncanny ability 
that if you give me any topic, I could rant about it for like a good long while. Let's be real. I might just do that as a stream one day. If I'm just like, I'm really in a talking mood. May Ski's cuteness be with- Ah, oh, I love you too. Ari, stray kids everywhere all around the world. Thank you. Good night, honey. The universe, it is way too old for us to be the only intelligent life. This is true. Stumpy, you may have found the one subject that I'm incapable of ranting about purely because there's not enough um, evidence to support that conclusion. I just have a lot of opinions about them. Me too. Have you ever thought about living somewhere else? Because I think about it all the time. Oh, she was going to be in vet school. Dang. Oh, Dead Parents Club too. That's the general store. Cool. Okay, well... I'd say welcome to the Dead Dads Club, but I don't actually know if my dad is dead. Nope, I'm saying that. I- She thinks I'm funny! She thinks I'm funny! Let's go! Yes, okay. At least somebody does. <laughs> um... I definitely don't want her to stay there. Women really just sit there and lie. That's so crazy. I have never lied a day in my life. I don't know what you're talking about. First win. This isn't the first one. Listen, we got the other girl's number. That was the first one, I think. A little harsh, but I guess you lied to me like a week ago. I did not. <laughs> I've never lied in my entire life. I've never lied. I've never, ever lied. Ugh. I need to stretch. A little harsh, but I guess you're not wrong. It's true. I'm always right. You lied to me like 10 minutes ago when you said you weren't going to go to prom with me. It's still not happening. Oh, that, I forgot that I am canonically a streamer in this game too. Yeah. I, listen, buddy. I'm not going to prom with you. It's not going to happen. Get it out of your head. I've never said a single lie once. Not once. So what's up with your brother? He was fine. Alright. Okay. Yeah, I don't really need your whole backstory. Now we just have to remain silent. Okay. So we get to the mines. Just kidding. She ran. What the fuck? And she let the dog go? The dog's gonna book it. Okay. They're probably nocturnal. That's what I said. The dog is out. I have one sock on. This is true. <laughs> hey, yo. What the dog doing? Look at his little fucking tongue. Look at the the bulging eye and his little fucking tongue. I lied. I have two socks on. Hey hey. Hey hey. <laughs> Sucks to suck. Okay. All right, I'll take the the song rating. No socks? No, I'm talking about dogs. Uh, Stumpy, I don't know what you're talking about. I have never lied a day in my life. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so she's on lookout for Tabby. Sucks to suck. Why do you do it so much? Oh, if if it sucks to suck, why do you do it so much? Uh, money's too good. That's a joke. Don't take that seriously. I might have tried sneaking in a time or two. Why are you poor? <laughs> That's a good question! Because I don't get paid enough. Shout out to Sarah's parents for that last joke. I what? <laughs> We're 
We're probably less likely to get caught. Okay, yeah, well, duh. Um. Um, 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 um. Pretty much all of the minor shop in the general store. Okay. So nobody knows who I am except everybody knows who I am. I didn't peg you as shy. I haven't gotten to peg you at all, actually. If- Yeah, hot aunties, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, hey, yo. Not gonna lie, I'm not following the story. Where's the sperm monster? I don't know. I'm also really confused. Just because I sp sometimes speak my mind doesn't mean I should be the one going in there. Okay, well, what's the third person doing? Oh! We've got surveillance. I have a pair of earbuds and a really good mic. Me too. We can just do a group call. You're good, Kanika. That should be hot tease. Tech buff. Muscle. I'm the honey pot. I'm not interested in sneaking around. I'm going to go find my cousin. No, I kind of want to sneak around. I've got this. Alright. We've got earbuds. Stella and Kanika break off, leaving you alone to the entrance mines. Hey, we're in a Discord call now. Do you guys want to hear something fucking hilarious? My job, I work as a barista. My job got a Discord server. Because they were like, they were like, we should get like a Slack or something to like keep in contact with each other. Because communication is like bad. And then, and then we were just like, but hey, we all have Discord. <laughs> Why, let's just make a Discord server for work. And now we have a Discord server for work. And the owners are the only two people that are not involved. It's hilarious. I think I'm going to add them, though. Imagine having a Discord. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I'll add, I'll add the owners to the Discord and then just make a bunch of chats that they can't see. I understand a Facebook group or even Twitter account, but Discord makes less sense. Um, we have an Instagram, a Facebook, and a, I get to open a TikTok. But Discord are, is just for communication so that, like, if we run out of chocolate sauce, I can say that and somebody will go get it. Facebook? Facebook? I... I have a few friends that are, like, only on Facebook, so I have to keep it just to be like, Hey, are you dead yet? And they're like, no, we're still kicking. It's more of a server's thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's not like social media. It's not like, it's not like, hey guys, join the Discord server for my work. It's more like, it's more like, hey, um, we're out of chocolate and beans. How the fuck does a coffee shop? run out of coffee beans i got into work the other day that's what gave me a huge migraine i think i got into work the other day and my coworker pointed at the hopper the hopper full of like it was it, it was like half full and she looks at me and she goes yeah that's all we have and i'm like cool gonna bang my head into a wall repeatedly until there's blood on it and she was like, don't do that. I don't want to clean it up. And I said, okay. Sorry, Deja. It was half empty. Do it live? I think I'd get banned. That would be my first ban. You pass through the unlocked fence. Okay. So this is like... <laughs> I'm in. Why are they calling me Morpheus? It's Morbin time, guys. It's okay. It'll be lifted after six hours. You're a woman. 
Maybe I will do it then. Do you ever feel like if you, I want to like crack my skull open like an egg and like my brain is the yolk, but I want to run my brain under cold water and like clean it with a sponge and then put it back in my skull. <laughs> You've talked about this a lot. This is, no, my brain, this is my brain normally and my therapist is concerned about it. Have you seen Morbius? There apparently is an emote that is the entire Morbius movie. Okay, we got Harrison, Davis, and Zax. Got it. Let's ask about Wayne. They missed that dude. Okay, well he accosted me. I'm a press him about it. Yeah, I'm a cop and I'm looking into whatever happened to Wayne. I am not a cop. Hey, ghost. It's called Scarlet, uh... It's called Scarlet Hollow. We don't have the entire Morbius movie as the emote, no. I just have seen it before. Yeah, we're like, we're on episode two right now. It's the happy birthday... Wait, is it happy birthday? No, it's not. They're not playing happy birthday. Should we tell them I'm Tabitha's cousin? Oh, we got the entire Morbius movie. There are four episodes. I've been waiting to get the game and play it since... So far, so far. It's been pretty cool. I've kind of missed some of the expository because I get distracted really fucking easily. But we're, at, we're getting into the action now, I think. I want to tell them I'm Tabitha's cousin. Oh, now they're all serious. Excuse me. Newest chapter just dropped. Ooh, okay. We probably won't get to it until like another two or three streams from now. But that's okay. I'm working, by the way, guys, I'm working on like a consistent um, stream schedule so that I won't have to kind of post it every, every week in the Discord. Sorry, I didn't know. I thought you maybe you were one of them environmentalists. Nah, I'm just like concerned. You should consistently not stream. Well, that's it, guys. Stumpy says I shouldn't stream anymore, so this is the last one. Enjoy it while it lasts. Go get some milk. Don't die. Um, no milk, please. Wow, I didn't think they'd be really that happy about it. Oh, it's for you? Then that's fine. Girth day? I have no fucking idea. It's just girth day every day. I don't know. We don't know nothing about what happened to Wayne. Okay. Stumpy just wants you to stop so he can neg you into marrying him. I told him he's like, like sixth on the list. <laughs> you bumped me up to second. When did I do that? When did I do that? Sixth is, yeah, sixth is not a bad place to be. Seen anything weird lately? Um, Y'all should get out of town. Should I tell them about the guy I met on the bus in the first one? We should follow Doka. When we were talking IG DMs, you told me, oh. Except that you lied. You're not a stray kid, Stan. Because if, if you were a Stray Kid stan, you would listen to Maze of Memories and think it's actually a good song. Which it is, but, you know, you might not think so. Like, Viper's 32? I think. I don't remember. I don't remember where you were on the list, Viper. We should make that list, though. Stray Kids is a K-pop group. I love when they sing songs. Stumpy lies? I could never. Same. I've never lied a day in my life. I think we should just be nonchalant. Yeah, that probably wasn't a good idea. I also love when stray kids sing songs. Actually, that's all. I don't want to press them anymore.
They seem to think that Wayne was dead. Just tell him to get out. I'm tempted to, but also, I, like, I don't know. Because I don't want them to think that I'm, like, weird. Don't get the bad ending. Are there multiple endings to this game? Oh, yeah, there are, because it's point and click. Should we approach another group? Let's, uh, yeah. Don't fuck it up. I am not good at not fucking up. So we'll see about that. Before you can reach the miners, you're struck by an intense... It says you can die in the synopsis? What are the chances that you all think that I'm gonna end up dying in this game? As, like, my ending. Because I think that's pretty high, honestly. Before you can reach the miners, you're struck by an intense feel. 69, let's go. You recognize the hollow terror as the same. Whoa, hollow. They said the name. That's it, everybody go home. I think you felt last night when you set eyes on that awful man in the miner's jacket. <gasps> it's Wayne! Should I attack him? No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, yo, homie. Okay, why is he trying to save me though? I thought I saw you talking to somebody down there. Are you watching me, Kanika? Oh no, that's Stella. I don't think he's human, bro. Listen, I told you, I told you, Kanika and Stella, that I thought he was a ghost. And y'all were like, nah, you're crazy. Nah, I told you. I fucking told you so. Uh. Also, ghosts aren't real. Fuck you. Yes, they are. I have had experiences. Just because I want ghosts to be real doesn't mean I want this ghost harassing. Yeah. Thanks for having my back, though. He told me to stay at the estate. Why would he tell me that? Because he's going to try and kill me if I don't. Yes. Yes. The bathroom fart ghost. My sister doesn't believe me, but I think that she's just crazy. I gotta talk to Tabitha. If the ending is a quick event where you need to jump, we all know it's fucked and we get the bad ending. <coughs> Homie! I can jump. I got jumps. Listen, buddy. I can 360 if I need to. Let's ask them about Wayne. Jess isn't psychically in tune to the phantasmal fart geist. <laughs> I like the assumption here that the ghost has, like, attached itself to me, but purely in a flatulential kind of way. Like, I can only hear it call me weird and make farts. Everyone thought he was dead. Cool, so we have confirmation on that. There's no way he's dead, yeah. Um, okay. Somebody took care of him. They got the mafia in here? Fun fact. I posted it on Twitter, but, um... My family- what the fuck? I just discovered an insanely large bruise on my knee. Anyway. Uh, my family has ties to the Italian Mafia. My grandma has pictures of members of the Mafia, like, on her mantle, and she's like, Yeah, they were really nice guys. And I'm like, Nani? What the fuck? My gram- my, uh, great-grandma used to talk about- them and they were like oh they were such gentlemen and i'm like bubby please i was like four when she was talking about it so i don't really remember it but you know my parents tell me that who would do something like that he's got a girlfriend how does the dead guy have a girlfriend and i don't
that's just rude. Lots of jilted ex-lovers, if you catch my drift. Sounds like a fan fiction I read once. Oh, you told him? Well, I told you. Oh no, I told Stella. Who was Wayne seeing? We gotta probe this line of questioning now. I'm also just really nosy, and uh, digging into people's love lives is one of my favorite things to do ever, which is why I read a lot of, a lot of gay fan fiction. If you don't know, there's no way I'm poking that wasp's nest. Forget we said anything. No, 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 no. I'm pressing it. Come on, brother. That's hot tea. You gotta spill. People are losing their jobs as it is. What do you mean? Was his ex-lover Tabitha? I'm calling it right now. Yeah, no. I think it's Tabitha. Okay, so we gotta go to the main office then. I got an achievement. This is nosy Nancy. Going around asking questions, huh? How'd you know? What can you tell me about this dude? What do you think he's been up to? Certain someone got involved with somebody he shouldn't have and nobody in camp seen him since. The Sweeties are a crime family confirmed. Legally, I'm not allowed to say anything about that. Oops. I figured he'd just run off to live in that big mansion with his bell. <gasps> it is Tabitha. It is Tabitha. As if you wouldn't fall on your knees if a woman of means showed the slightest bit of interest in you or any woman at all. He just got fucking called out. I mean, like, same, but like, bro, Tabitha was hitting it. Oh, or was it Pearl Ann? I forgot that she existed. I'm going to ask about Tabitha first. Okay. That's weird. So Tabitha's not a lesbian. Interesting. Alright, well, this is... I don't know if this is... Oops. Yeah, let's just weird them out. I saw what made that noise. He, yeah, they're fucking... They don't like me anymore. Any people getting sick? Knocking in the mines? You can't say a, can't say a word like we say what happened in August 1997 stays in August 1997. Exactly. You get it, Tris. I mean, thank you. Tabitha could go both ways. This is true. That would still not make her a lesbian, though. Unfortunately, we can't call her a lesbian anymore. Had a pickaxe stolen? A yo? All right, all right. I'm tired of their back commentary. Um, I just want to now go talk to Tabitha. Saw a raccoon with a big old tumor. It's gonna turn into a ditchling. Or a little sperm monster. All right, we'll leave it at that. I don't want to ask them what they think about Tabitha, because I don't really care, to be honest. Oh, they're going to take care of uh, my stalker. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Why can't you just stay at the state and stop sticking your nose where it doesn't belong? Because I'm nosy Nancy. That's why. Are you trying to record my employees? No, I'm just... Okay, cool. Well... Typical phone-addicted city dweller. Fuck you, bro. Just stay here for an hour. I can take you back. Bro. Nancy, I thought your name was Sarah. Well, my name is Sarah. But with an H. 
Yeah, you realized your mistake. Oh, let's fucking get him. I hit enter too quickly. I could sue you. Some She's some sort of Scooby-Doo fake villain who we believe is the monster of the lagoon, but is not. Yeah, why is there no edit button on Twitch chat? Um, she's definitely not the main villain, even though they're like trying to pin something on her, but she's hiding something. She's hiding something. I don't involve myself with their lies. Wrong. Listen, buddy, miners are, miners are always honest. I need to go to my meeting. Fine, go. She would be the red herring. Yeah, she's the, the fake out. If you don't want to be followed by some weirdo, just stay home. Except for the fact that he followed me to the home. Is she the scrappy do? Oh, I forgot about that part of the movie. Not that I forgot the ending, but that, like, movie in general. It's so good. <gasps> hey, yo. There she goes. Oh, that was Rosalina. She's clearly, clearly, she's doing a delinquency. Because that's definitely how you say that. I don't know what to do. I hope she turns into a giant at the end of the game and tries to suck our soul. No, I would turn mini and then eat her and then suck her soul. I'm gonna fix that fucking stream elements thing. Okay, so we're going after the teenager. Something is wrong. Somebody's gonna fucking- This is the sign of a mass grave?! Okay, 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 okay. That means ghosts. That means ghosts. Oh, and it's really dangerous. That's so cool. Time to, it's getting cold. I gotta turn my little space heater on. And here I thought Stella was gonna be the one to drag. <laughs> yeah, no, it's actually the teenager now. Hey, remember all those bad feelings I got? Yeah, st st straight up cursed. Sorry for the spoil. The movie has been out for over 10 years. If it's, uh, if you feel like I spoiled the movie for you by saying that, we can't be friends. Remember all those bad feelings I got last night? This, yeah. A lot of people died down there. Oh, I forgot that, I forgot that they explained this to me. Doesn't mean it's cursed. Yes, it does. That's exactly what it means. Stop using my full name. I hate this. As much as I hate confined spaces, I hate the thought of other people getting trapped down there even more. I... Have you guys ever seen, like, videos of, like, cave... Ca like... Cave exploration? And they go into those tiny little places. Or, like, catacombs. That is terrifying to me. How do you... I don't understand how you would want, pardon me, why you would want to, like, risk getting stuck. Fun fact, this movie is older than me, and yet I'm legally an adult. What? The movie's ten years old. That is a confusing statement, and I don't understand what it means. Can you please help me out with that? Before you follow, you briefly wonder if you should let Tabitha know about this. Uh, mm, no, we're just going to go for it. There's a very cool documentary on the most famous person that got trapped in a cave. I, there is a channel on YouTube called The Internet Historian. And he recently did, 2002 wasn't 10 years ago.
You're fucking with me. I fucking... <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm being fucked with. I know that. <laughs> I think I just had an aneurysm. I think I just had an aneurysm. <laughs> That's a, a fucking full-blown existential crisis right there. Scooby-Doo 2002. 2023! <gasps> Uh, 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 I don't like it. Fuck! Welcome back, Sarah. We're oh. Ah! Party, party, yeah. Cobalt! <laughs> Hi, homie! <laughs> You've got me- You got me in the middle of an existential crisis. Thank you for the two months, bro. Welcome in. Welcome back. Jesus, it's cramped down here is what I said to yo mama. Sarah, you've been in a coma for 10 years? It fucking feels like that. I don't... I don't remember a lot of things. I don't remember a lot of things. I'll leave it at that. I quite possibly could have lost 10 years of my life. Or like bits and pieces. <laughs> You even got me confused from a moment when you said 10 years ago. I was like, I was like, I, I think what happened, I think what happened is that I read it in my head as 2012. I thought you were actually joking for a second. I, I didn't even realize it. Um, I think I read it in my head as 2012. Read it, this girl doesn't show. <laughs> it's the natural musk I read it as I must have read it in my head as 2012 that happens a lot abandoned mind they're gonna make a minor minor joke gross just wanted to say hey Zoomy streamed a long time so I needed to be away from the screens for a bit yeah no you're totally fine have a good night homie it's always nice when you pop in it's been it's been a chill night tonight, I think. I've had at least four existential crises. Um got roasted to hell, but that's not that's not new. So like we did beat episode 1 of this game and we're now on episode 2. I'm clipping this. Yeah, guys, clip whatever you think is hilarious that I do, please and thank you. Love that for you. Thank you. I'm not superstitious, but if there's one way to make sure you get haunted, it's cracking jokes about dead child labors while walking on their graves, dude. I, I would, like, do my best to tempt the spirits wherever I go. You're a bitch. Don't do that. Even the pug is concerned. Guys, don't actually tempt spirits unless you, like, legitimately want to get haunted. We're going to find horror gnomes in the mine. That'd be fun. Then we could have them reenact the movie Nomeo and Juliet. Did anybody see that movie? Because I did. When it came out. It was really bad. Also, I thought it was really funny. I was texting my cousin the day that it came out. and we, Or not the day that it came out. The day I was going to see it. And he was like... Yo, I'm going to a movie. I'll text you later. And I was like, oh, no way. I'm also going to a movie. What are you seeing? And he was like, Nomeo and Juliet. And I was like, no fucking way. Me too. Um, turns out me and my cousin were going to see the same movie at the exact same time in two different states. With our respective best friends at the time. If any place in Scarlet Hollow was actually haunted, it'd be this. Well, yeah. It's like a hundred dead kids in there. If I were to have an army, if I were to have an army, I'm just saying, 
A hundred dead children's ghosts would be a pretty sick army. My dad's friend, who's a farmer, had the DVD and I watched it too many times. It was so bad, though. It was just so bad. And then it got a fucking sequel. It got a sequel. Who greenlit that and thought it was a good idea? I don't understand. The mine's gonna collapse and we're all gonna die in here. Yeah, probably. Sherlock Gnome? That was a bad movie. It was so bad. Are you joking? You're actually yanking my chain that that's a real movie that exists. Still aside longingly. No, bro. This, look at this shit. Not only does it look pretty, but like it's gonna collapse on us and you're both gonna get got. Straight murked by the dead children of this mine. Just brings back memories from my last foray into these depths. It's Sherlock but gnomes. Just leave Sherlock to Benedict Cumberbatch, please. Fun fact, but also probably not surprising at all. I was obsessed with Sherlock when it was like a th really big thing. Every time I thought I'd finally found a spooky ghost that wound up being a very unghostly explanation. At least she's like honest. <gasps> Bats! Bats! I love them! I love how bad Will Fer the Will Ferrell Sherlock movie. There was a Will Ferrell Sherlock movie? That's real? You know how you said that Scooby-Doo came out 10 years? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know how I said that. What about it? <gasps> I'm gonna get rabies, aren't I? Fun fact, again, I didn't know that rabies was, like, as bad as it was. Up until very recently. I thought that rabies was like, oh yeah, okay, you get your rabies shot and then you're like, you're good. You can just kind of, like, like, what if you get, like, like, people are like, you know, don't, like, don't go up to the wild raccoon because it'll bite you and it's got rabies. Um... Oh, there's a knocking. Uh, it'll bite you and you'll get rabies. And I was like, okay, but like, what if I get rabies? Like, what? So it's like a flu or something? Like, what's going on? No, um, apparently rabies is like, like, you have a really low chance of survival if you get rabies. Didn't know that. What what if I get rabies? Well, you know, I would die. That's what would happen. Um, that was knocking. Nomeo and Juliet came out in 2011. There's no fucking way that movie is 12 years old already. Oh no. If you're showing signs showing symptoms of rabies then it's already too late and you're probably dead. Well, guys, looks like I no longer want rabies. A well, actually, you know what? Wait a minute now. What if I survive it, though? So anyway, chat, I got rabies. It makes great clickbait, I will say. They don't know that they're sitting next to a rabies survivor. My mom heard that uh, audio for coming from, like, a TikTok, and she was like, Wow. She was so impressed. Uh, hey, my favorite thing about the internet is watching my parents try to learn how learn it and keep up with it. I hate I the pet tip of him cut. Take it back. Let's do it again. A hateful and broken presence stirs in the deep. I doesn't want you here. Okay, cool. That was a warning. Yeah. That's crazy. I actually get rabies whenever I look into your eyes. Oh, here you go. Hold on. Just really quickly, Doka. This is for you. Get rabies. I don't even care if it was blurry. This camera f is crazy. The bad guys from Nomeo and Juliet is a Fast and Furious actor. 
What do you mean? James McAvoy was in that movie? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That's wrong. No way. You're joshing me, bro. No way. Maybe it's got something to do with the mystery. S shut the fuck up. Wipe that dumb look off your face. How did that movie get such a cast? Impossible. The three of you are interrupted by a second, much less distant sound of a can being popped open. It's, it's, it's Wayne. It's Wayne. It's Wayne. It's Wayne. It's Wayne. It's Wayne. What, deeper in the mind. Michael Caine is in that movie. My brother in Christ. What the actual fuck. Aw, oh, man. It's just the teenagers. <laughs> what are you guys doing in here? Yeah, creeps. I'm not a creep. I'm not a... Dolly Parton is in Romeo and Juliet. That makes me want to alt F4 of life. What? Alexis, if I wanted an echo, I'd yell in the Grand Canyon. Brother, that was mean. There's no way all of those A-list actors are in that movie. And it did so bad. <sighs> How? We're here to make sure you don't hurt yourselves. Yeah. Tabby's cousin. Oh my god. It is messed up. Yeah, this kid is like, come on, bro. We're not kids. Yeah, we're teens. You are too young to vote. That qualifies you as a kid. And they're drinking strawberry margaritas. Although, I'm not gonna lie. I, I do like a strawberry margarita every once in a while. Oh, Miles has been caught. Hulk Hogan and Ozzy Osbourne. You're... I... I need to watch this movie again. Sounds to me like you're stalking, harassing, and all that. You're supposed to be minding the store. Oh! She's tearing into her brother. That's kind of hot. It's extremely not fine. Why do I always have to be the responsible one? <laughs> Oh, we're really getting into it now. Oh, we're really getting into it now. He pulled the dead dad card. Pause. Why am I pausing? I'm paused. What's going on? Who's the director? It is not a director for Shrek 2. There's no way. It was the bad director from Shrek 2. They only abandoned this place because there wasn't enough coal left to dig. No, it's definitely because a hundred fucking kids died in it. No, Alexis. Becca, I don't like you. Beanie Boy? Give him a name at least. Ah! That was stressful. Zane? Okay, so that's Zane. Fuck off, Zane. Oh, Rosalina's not like other girls. Sad 20-somethings? Fuck you. I'm not from this place. I'm a streamer. I have... I have... Uh... Uh... V 
viewers. I, you know, I have more of a career than you'll ever. He also directed Spirit. There's no fucking way. You're telling me the director of Spirit, Stallion of the Cimarron, my one of my favorite all time animated movies of all time is so good. I had to say that twice. You're telling me that that is the director of Nomeo and Juliet. I simply don't believe you. There's no way they he made that movie and then fucked off to make Nomeo and Juliet. I I don't know what to do with this new information. I'm going to have another existential crisis. They got a hot plate and a couple of cots in the back rooms. It's actually a pretty sick setup. Yeah, bro. I would live in a library. I would absolutely live in a library. Are you kidding? He thinks our house is haunted. Now this is information. Also, why are you being, why are you being poor phobic, huh? Huh? Cash grab? Could be. I just don't understand how that movie has such an A-list cast. And the spirit director. And it came out dog shit. I'm not going to weigh on in on this. But yeah. Get out of the mines. That's a dumb thing to do. You can't ghost bust if there's no ghost. I thought that he said he wanted to bust the ghost for a second. And then I read it again. She can't break into her own house. There's no ghost that you know of. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But I want to see the ghost. We're not in immediate danger and to ruin everyone's fun. The answer is probably no. There's no ghost. Okay, well, she's dragging her shithead brother. Oh, just kidding. Yeah, you should feel dirty for that. I feel disgusting. Kanika is interrupted by a pair of thunderous knocks. Did you mean thunderous knockers? Didn't you have a whole list of perfectly natural explanations? Yeah, bro. Okay, okay. So, yeah. The first one she goes for is the one that's, like, the least plausible. Got it. No, she does definitely not have a sense of self-preservation. Beanie Boy wants to go with them. Uh, apparently we're going deeper in the mine. Where three of you went off to? Oh, great. They went through the child-sized tunnel. Cool. I've never been able to get these hips through there. Stop bragging about your childbearing hips, please. If Becca says we're safe, then we're totally safe. I fucking hate Alexis and Becca. No, it made a bit of fuss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if you run into something totally normal down here that it, you think is a ghost, but and I miss out on my chance to figure out what it actually is? <laughs> if I don't escort you two out of here myself, can I trust you to actually leave and go home? Eh. So that kid's going on a ghost hunt. Gross. That we could just leave. I can feel the depths call out to us. I don't want the, I don't like the mystical answers that they give me. Okay, we could all just leave. Mm. Alright, I guess we gotta do it. I'm gonna like... Oh, hey, Cthulhu. Cthulhu. I read that wrong the first time. Um, I think we'll we'll get deeper into the mines a little bit and then I'll probably pause.
for the night. As the three of you move deeper into the mine, you hear echoes of conversations bounce across the walls. Ooh. Rosalina doesn't like it. I'm not about to take it life advice from a YouTuber and a dropout. Fuck you. Maybe college isn't for everyone, you know? Just don't mind straight down. Exactly. You do it in a two by two. You just go back and forth. I think Stella's kind of cool. Suck up. Should we have a sponsor? Lots of YouTubers don't have a sponsor. Thank you very much. Meat rice? What the fuck is meat rice? You know they've got a point though. Never trust a YouTuber. Oh man, I wish they were gossiping about me. Eh. Um... They, well, yeah. Except Squid Ink and Ink. That's a real person that I know. You okay there, Kanika? Fucking Becca, bro. Squid who? You know, Squid Ink and Ink. The famous YouTuber and streamer. And if you try to tell me that they're not real, I'll kill you. Another knock? Hey, yo? Oh, never heard of them? Oh, that's okay. Yeah, they're really cool. They're a really cool streamer. You should check them out. They're, I'm pretty sure they're streaming tomorrow. Is it just me, or is it that knocking coming from the same direction as those kids in Minecraft? Yes. Sometimes I read chat messages and I forget what they're in reference to, so I just I just answer them randomly. I am over the squid ink and ink isn't real joke. I'm over it. Did we s oh oh? They're getting freaky. It's getting it's getting stuffy. There's nothing down here. No, stop trying to scare me. Absolutely, I'm gonna. What if they're the ones doing the knocking? No no no. No, no, no. We gotta get closer. We gotta get closer. The knocking grows more frequent. It's a cult. It's gotta be a cult. It's gotta be a cult. I don't trust the ladder, but I'm gonna go down it anyway. At least I'll always have the August 1997 joke. Yeah, you can keep that one. The pit radiates rage. A white hot anger. It hates you, but at the heart of it, you can sense something else. The quiet hum of a darker presence. The heart calls to you, desperate to be witnessed. Shamanic drumming. Yeah, there's definitely a cult down there. She's like, no, I've never been down here before. Let's keep going. I don't think I can climb and hold Gretchen. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. See you later, Stella. She's about to die. I'm calling it right now. Oh, I guess I have to follow her. Okay, so we lost Kanika and the dog. We're gonna get lost. Maybe I didn't get this far. In oh. oh. Zoggers! Yeah. Let's fucking go, bro. Two months. Thank you so much for the two months, homie. I love you guys. Parasocially, of course. I think it was actually this way. Okay. They have no idea where they are. Sounds like they're really lost. We are also about to be lost. Step forward. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't have any other choices. You can feel it in your chest. Wrap yourself in the darkness. This is getting emo. I think the. Am I dying? Oh! What in the. It was a cult! You said we couldn't use the shipment? You know it's compromised. Couldn't afford to wait on new wood. Oh no! 
It's a fl it is a flashback. It'll get the job done. No, it did not. We've just discovered like several different dead bodies. I had a seizure. Who the fuck? What are these things? Why is there breathing? Oh, 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 there's breathing in my ears. There's breathing in my ears. Okay, I blacked out again. Guys, ghosts! Ghosts, 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 ghosts. We can see them now. We can see them now. You once again hear the panicked voices of bickering teenagers? Okay. And now I'm invested. I'm, I'm, okay. Minor, minor ghosts. But these look like adults. Pick a side, Alexis. I'm sure Becca knows where we're going. Ooh. Alexis is a sheep. Alexis is a sheep. The increasingly desperate voices of the teens are drowned out. Can they hear the knocking too? Okay. Poor girl, we found her. Oh, kids are gonna die. Kids are gonna die. Oh god, oh god, okay. Do I leave the kids? Okay, hold on. Do I leave the kids? Or do we go after them? Leave them? You're advocating for child murder? Oh, okay. Wait. Hey, Gray Crow. Welcome to Bone Zone. Um, we need help. Don't leave them. I, it's an even split. Can, can we put a pole up? Gotta save them or else they'll just disappear. Um, do we leave the kids or do we, do we save them? Cause I'm getting in like an even split right now and I have no idea what to do. Save the kids, it was a joke. I don't know. Oh, it's even now. You guys want me to leave these children? This music is getting really intense, too. It's... Okay, okay. If it's murder, I think we should leave them. It's like, we did it, but the blood is not on our hands. No. I don't think that's how that works, though. I would just feel really guilty. I think it would come back to bite me. Yeah, it's at 50-50 right now. You guys are of no help. Somebody. We need one deciding vote, please. <laughs> no. Okay. Cool. Um. Save the kids. Okay, we'll go back after them. She said she knew where they were, so we follow her. It's getting louder. The minds shake with each new thunderous blow. Can she see these things too? Oh, she's ignoring me. Okay, okay. The 50% can live, the other one has to stay. Okay. She looks like she can. Bro, look at them. She got the emo tears. She can't see them. Ow. I just hit my ankle. I don't want to die down here. Then fucking... Then move, bro. Let's go. You 
quickly push your way back. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Before the collapse. Let's get out of here. It's gonna break, isn't it? No, just kidding. Yup, 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 yup. <gasps> this is a time crunch. We gotta run. Oh no. It got me. Oh, oh! Oh! Just kidding, that's not one piece. Clearly she's not okay. Yeah, bro. What is your, what is your deal, girl? Becca. It, bro. No shit, that really hurts. You need, I don't think I failed. I think I made it. But Rosalina got real hurt. They're gonna know I was drinking. The neutral, this is the neutral ending for the cave? Did you have to jump? I didn't, no, I did not have to jump. It's point and click, bro. I don't have to do anything except point and click. If my dad finds out, he'll kill me. Bro, I promise your dad will be so much happier that you are alive. And those two, yeah, she obviously is a dick. Ah, oh, Tabby's gonna be mad at me. Tabby's gonna be real mad at me now. I done fucked up that relationship. Bro. You're not dead. Stop using my full legal name, please. You barely know me. If I don't make it, what do you mean if you don't make it? It's on your foot. The major artery is in your thigh, homie. It's not your fault, bro. Back to your safe space, yeah. Couldn't have done it without your help. Well, I'm just fucking a G. I'm a homie. Listen, buddy. And that's why you shouldn't drink underage. Yup. Hmm. Stop hanging out with Becca. Yeah, I know I'm right. I'm always right. And then you wouldn't... Yeah, you wouldn't uh, be uh, like... Oh, she's gonna pass out. Oh, She's gonna hold her hand. Look at the dog, though. The dog being with her. That's adorable. I'll be having a word with you. Hey, man, I went in to get them out. I went in to get them out. I didn't do anything wrong. You can't blame me for this, Tabby. Oh, there's Dad. This girl isn't gonna die. I don't know why they're all acting as if she's gonna, like, bite it right then and there. It's a foot injury. Like, they, it, she may have it amputated, but... There's no space in the back. You can't ride with your daughter. Well, her vitals are looking good. She, bro, she's conscious. She was conscious and talking. Why are they all acting as though this girl is gonna like eat dust? Oh, here comes Tabby. At least nobody died. Aw, oh, man. Now he's gonna blame it on himself. I also believe that your house is haunted, homie. Aw! They're gonna be besties now! Sarah's like, I sacrificed my life 
<laughs> I sacrificed my life. Not the not the country necessarily. It was definitely for these fucking teenagers though. And I don't like teenagers. They're the worst breed of human. Middle school boys, like 12 year old boys. If I ever have to interact with one again, I might, I might like just straight up cut my own fingers off. Like I would rather cut my own fingers off than have to interact with a 12 year old boy. I can't believe you left me down there. Hmm. No, I gotta, I gotta, the entities in the mine. Pretty sure I saw some ghosts down there. I hate, I hate them so much. I'm pretty sure I saw it, yeah. Um, and they followed, did you not see them? That's super weird, what do you mean that's super weird? You were there. I'm not primed to see these things. I saw the flashback. She took a picture of it, but she left me in the mine. Can't believe you left me down there, homie. Yeah, I want the apology. What happens now? Ah. <laughs> Oops. Look what I did. Yeah, you have the abandoned mine on your property, homie. Oh, put it on her. Not like her mom just fucking died. To be fair, she's only known you for like 26 hours. Yeah, but we're still like cousins. She invite- Listen, buddy, she invited me here. I had nothing to do with this. You three were up there with them. Why didn't you get them out of there sooner? We tried! Let's be a little snippy. <laughs> what a heartfelt apology. Oh, yeah, I've been getting those left and right. Okay, we're all leaving. Just kidding. Me when I'm Sarah Snippy. The thing that I really like about having an S name is that there are a lot of, like, S characteristics, like snark and snippy, that make the alliteration in my brain just go brrr, you know what I mean? Just make it quick and don't you dare try to pull anything on them, they did nothing. <gasps> She's on our side now! Let's go. We know where to find y'all, okay, as if you don't know where to find me. Deputy Derrickson. I love alliteration so much. Special bowling night. I understand the me time, sir. We have found neither hide nor hair. Yo, you haven't found him? We couldn't get the camera working, so no way to confirm until we track him down. Brother, you didn't see the... What? You did prevent a huge lawsuit for her mind. No wonder she likes... Yeah. Please. She has to like me. I did a lot for her. Why are they suspicious of me? Owned by my family? No way! If it wasn't for me, they'd all be dead. I don't have to talk to you. I know my rights. I know my rights. Just being thorough, that's what they all say. I don't like these cops anymore. They're being mean to me. He tips his hat to me, not the sweeties again. The sweeties do not own mines. If they did, if they did, let's just say I would have room on my PC to play more than one game at a time. I'd also probably not be streaming. You make your way 
If they did, would you really know? No, it'd be like a... It'd be like a... I don't know. If... If... If my family owned mines... They probably wouldn't be able to shut up about it, to be honest. Two nights in a row. Yes, Stella, it's your fault. What if she's the reason? What if... Oh, she's got a dimple. I also have dimples. Small town cops, you know? Yeah, I do know. Excellent. You didn't get arrested. Cool. Okay. I'd rather you didn't. Oh... Not even a secret. It's like the BFF for your grandman or who was in the mafia or something. Yeah. They, they definitely wouldn't be able to keep their mouth shut about it. Like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't even be close to a secret. Alright, so, uh... I'll text you when we're back. This is gonna be an awkward conversation. I'm doing terribly, by the way, in case you wanted to know. Let's poke about Stella. Just kidding, she did not like that. I don't appreciate being dragged off like that. Yeah. How are you holding up, bro? Okay. Can we push about Kanika? Uh. No, oh, okay, well. Guess we'll just ride in silence. Yes, Stumpy. Okay, my mom went to bed. I'm going to bed. I suggest you do the same. Why did you get me here? Just don't want you to get hurt? Bro, it seems like you really hate me. Okay, well, she just ignored. Cool. Guess we're turning in. That seems like as good a place as ever to save and exit. I know we didn't get through episode two, but I think it's a good place to, to stop for the evening. And I'll come back here and put some music on. How are we feeling? How are we? How's everybody doing? Imagine I'm doing good. Good. I'm glad that you're doing good. Imagine stopping. I know when to stop. I know my limits. Mostly. Everybody's pretty good. Just vibing. Good. Good. I like this. I'm also doing pretty good. I've been going. This is probably the longest stream I've had ever. We've been going for like almost three and a half hours. But yeah, so I'm thinking, I'm, here's what I'm thinking. My, just finished drinking milk. I'll just finish this right now then. My desk is clean. I'm about to add another one to my collection. She's still here, looking pretty as always. Love her, love this collection. I'm not cleaning the desk. You can call me a goblin all you want. It's not gonna work. I was actually social today and I'm so tired, I've lost the ability to... Bro, same, I had to go to work. That's what always, I am gonna lose this Diet Coke, oh well. Um, I'm a bottle goblin, bottle and can, and I'm pretty sure the, the tumbler I've got down here like has 
is gross. Coming to your house to commit crimes against plastic. Please, come to Redacted. And if you want to clean my desk, you're more than welcome. Am I gonna do it? Absolutely not. How about you try bottle gobbling these nuts? How about you... Um... How about you go away, actually? Got him! Ew. I drank with my friend yesterday and now I'm tired. Good for you. I hope that was fun. I hope that was fun and that wasn't like a pain in the ass. Because sometimes going out and drinking, it could be annoying. I would have watched Austin Powers. No, you can watch Austin Powers. The stream will be a mountain of bottles with no visible Sarah. I will clean my desk when I hit 105 subs in the goals thing. That's when I'll clean my desk. Good luck. I pinky promise. Anyway, my, my tentative thinking right now, what I'm thinking about is the upcoming streams. You need to go back in the VOD to clip. Yeah, you, guys, that's the thing. If you have funny things to clip, please clip them so that I can turn them into more content because they're funny and I need it and I'm a busy human. A great uh, demonstration on how to clip things. Thank you, that's lovely. Uh, so you just, it's, it's just asterisks and then clip. And then, you know, it's pretty poggies of you to like, clip things for the streamer and make it easy to uh to uh make it more content and make it funny you know got you got you guys anyway anyway so this week this week super cut up please make clips mm. i want a super cut of this of 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 uh, yeah. Brain equal mush. Can't do thought anymore. I don't even remember what I was trying to talk about. Um, imagine thinking. Wait, I saw a meme. Wait, 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 wait. Let me show you a meme really fast. I, ha I, I saved it. I got it on Pinterest. What is think? I, I know nothing. It doesn't dox, I swear. Why is it always thinking? This is me right now. That's my, that's my go-to meme right now. It just makes sense. So, so, the tentative thing, right? The schedule. Next week, serious points were brought up, exactly. I wish I had my iPad down here, but I don't, so I just have to rely on this down here. Um, next week, I leave for vacation. Next, I leave a week from today, and then I'll be gone, I'll be gone the 21st through the 25th. So, I think next week, Monday and Wednesday, might be the only streams until the 27th. Cause I have, I got, I got things to do Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, unfortunately. I, maybe I, when I get my piercing, I was wondering why do human have two nasal holes? You have, when you, here, let me bring out the skull. This is, first of all, it's how we evolved. But second of all, everybody say hello, Dr. Gerald. See this bone right here? For directional smelling. I don't actually know the reason why we've developed it. I think it's stability also. This is called the vomer. V-O-M-E-R. This is the bone that separates inside your skull. And it goes all the way back here. So this is also the vomer. And then it's up here. You can see a little bit. So it'll focus. Dolphins only have one nose hole. It's just how we evolved. To be honest, I don't know. I could like look it up right now for you. Let me put Dr. Gerald back.
let's see really quickly why did we evolve two nostrils hmm yeah directional smelling that's legitimately it. Also, one apparently can take in more. Yeah, in case it gets blocked. We might have to talk to really this shit. I'm not abandoning you. I'm thinking about my schedule. I'm... Monday and Wednesday, for sure, we'll have streams. That's that's for sure. Um, I'm. We might pick up where we left off in Minecraft one of those days. Perhaps. Um, or we'll continue Scarlet Hollow and, uh, Cursed PowerPoint is probably on Wednesday. But we'll see. We'll see. I, I, yeah. I love to think random stuff. Like, why do we, uh, that is also an evolutionary thing. It's just more sanitary. It's just for sanitary reasons. It's not Minecraft. It's your craft. It's my craft. But yeah. So that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway. At least two streams next week. Before I leave. My theory is that it's to eat faster. I don't think that's how that works. I'll do some research for you. How about that? We're not a small mammal. We are a very large mammal. Considering how we evolved. And what we came from. I don't know. Evolution is just really cool. Also the fact that we all turn into crabs. We, uh, we come from... Apes are not small mammals. We come from very large mammals, actually. make us an educational PowerPoint. What would you want? What would you want this PowerPoint to be? Stumpy, I'm looking for a song for you. If we were going to do a cursed PowerPoint this week, what would you want it to be on? How Stumpy can win your heart. No, a PowerPoint about how cool and awesome I am. Again, not enough evidence to prove that. Always shocks me how big gorillas are. Dude, a silverback gorilla is huge. I want it to be a superpower that you want, but are actually just minor things you can do IRL. Do you want me to just bring that PowerPoint up again? Bones and what I would rename them? That's, that's fun. I might steal that. Hold on. Let me write that down. Um, if you have evidence, prove it. I'm still looking for a song. My phone is on Do Not Disturb, so if it's not in Discord, I won't see it. You should listen to hmm, I don't know I recently made a cursed PowerPoint for my friends about the kinks of Batman villains and I call it the Joker cuckolding hypothesis I'm interested in that now I'm interested a fun little thing to do would be to give us a bunch of pictures of bones to form the oh like a quiz? Am I quizzing you? Like, am I building an animal? I'm trying to pick a song, Stumpy, that I don't think you'd have heard. Okay. Build a bear, but for bones? <laughs>
That's your song wreck. Build a bear, but for bones. That would be kind of cool. I will consider this. I will take all this into consideration. How do you feel about the cursed power points? How do you, like, be totally honest. Do you like them or not? No! I just got chicken butted. Goofy girl, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the bone zone. I love your name. I just got fucking chicken butted. I like Two Face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. None of you are telling me what you really. They're fun intro stream for smaller games. Okay. Agreed, agreed. They're my signature. <laughs> That's what I'm known for. I'll take it. Okay, but uh, the point is that are you enjoying them? Like, are they a fun little, a little, you know, a little thing? Because I like making them. But if they're not being enjoyed, then I don't want to keep, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to torture you guys with that. Now that we have the business out of the way, though... It gets, it, it is a good discussion. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. As long as we all like them. Let's now find. We're gonna look for somebody to raid. Unless anybody has any suggestions. I'm not sure of anybody that's live. Just, uh, Chump is still going. He's in a subathon right now. Or we could raid Evan J. Stern, who is uh, uh, that actor on um, Letterkenny, and I love that show. Cursed PowerPoint are like really unique and different, but definitely felt. Yeah, okay. Helps us figure out how your brain works. The answer is it doesn't. Correct. Stumpy, you're not live. Like what I would put my, yeah. What I would eat, what I would, yeah, okay. I can see that. Koki? Oh, we could read Koki. Is that how you say her name? Their name? Fave small VTuber? That is not a small VTuber. Do it anyway. It's kind of a mood though. I could see that. Are we rating Koki? Yes or no? I can't tell what they're doing. This looks like an interesting stream. Okay. Well. Might as well introduce some some new we need to go to sleep. Good night, Tris. Good night. If you do need to sleep, go for it. Otherwise, copy the raid message. And we're gonna raid Cookie. And then I will see you all on Monday. What if they don't have a, a oh well? Then it'll just look really weird. And I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. Good night, guys. I will see you all on Monday.